Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. We're getting ready to do episode 74 of Adventures in Wildmount. Uh, right now, they were just uh, heading down some hidden stairs um, down here in this corner down here. And uh, we are going to pick up with them telling you what is happening, what's going on, what they're after here, and what's happening in the world. Um, so I hope you really enjoy this. Let's get to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the game. Would anybody like to give us a rundown of where we're at and what's happening? It's somebody else's turn I'm reading. We're in a dungeon, and we are getting fucked up real quick. And this is supposed to be a long-haul dungeon, so this is going to be fun. We're fine. Hey, man, at your guys level, I gotta throw some hard shit at you. Otherwise, I'm not even going to touch you. <laughs> but, I mean, like, why are you here? What are you after? Where are you? You know? Uh, Well, we're in a dungeon vault thing for uh we're after our last piece of artifact i don't know what day it is but we got a countdown calendar going on to meet um what's his face for the final battle uh and yeah that's it for ash that's all the notes i have um so as we ended the session, you guys were heading, uh, you guys had removed the lid off of this sarcophagus. Which resembled Vecna. The, uh, the statue at the end of it, yes. Uh, you guys lifted the lid and you found stairs. And you guys started descending down the stairs. As you guys descend, voices echo from the walls. Growls and screams. Every time you feel like it's coming from just your side, you look over and suddenly the direction changes. You guys can't see anything, but down these stairs, it is deep. It takes you about ten minutes to finally reach the bottom. As you all reach the bottom of these stairs... Um, it turns from a spiral into a straight staircase, and it slowly widens. Uh, ahead of you, you're able to see uh, what look to be braziers lighting the room. Uh, the walls in this particular area are adorned with features of skulls, while rubies and sapphires, seemingly lit from nowhere, uh, are implanted in the, the eyes of the skulls along the wall. Two skeleton-like statues in armor. Sorry, uh, four. Sit along the side of the stairs. As you guys walk down, it looks as though the light in the gems of these statues are following you. But at the end, you see the end of the staircase, leading into the room with the braziers. What would you guys like to do? Um, is this door closed? It is not. Uh, ahead of you does lie uh, an archway. Um, skulls happen to uh, just like the walls line the archway. Can we see fucking Gizmo up here? The only thing you can see at this range is... You know what, since you mentioned it, roll me a perception uh, at advantage. Well, I mean, it depends. I see stairs. So, I mean, if he's up the stairs, we wouldn't be able to look through the doorway and up the stairs, right? Give me a That's perception. That's why I was asking. Give me, give me a perception. 28, Jim. Ahead of you, you're able to see the outline of the stairs. However, that room, uh, for the most part, is dark. However, there does seem to be a light 
shining from the back. And can't see a whole lot. It, you see a silhouette. However, there seems to be one glowing thing seeming to look at you as you enter the room. It raises up about 10 feet. This archway is about 30 feet high. You're able to see up the stairs. Just barely. The creature you cannot see, but you definitely see what looks to be a glowing eye. However, it does not approach you. It does not move. Yet. Yeah, I'm wondering if we break the skeletons that are down here, then they won't be able to come and fuck us up later. But also, I'm okay with just not touching them. I, uh, Richter walks in and casts the Mage Hand and suggests that he could, if we are going to touch them, we could use the Mage Hand. Uh, does Phoenix see any rocks nearby on the ground? Loose pebbles? Sure, you can you can easily find a couple pebbles. This uh, this place is ancient, so there's definitely yeah. gonna be some loose uh loose pebbles and shit around. Phoenix will yeet a pellet at this fucking skull face. Where are you eating it? At an eye, at the nose, the mouth? Uh I mean Middle of the face, ideally, is my aim, so nice. nose, I guess. All right. It seems to uh, get yanked into the nose as it gets close. But it makes no other movement. I was watching as well. What do you mean yanked? Like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. It's got hoovered. Okay. Mm, I don't like the looks of that. Seems super saucy. Yeah. Looks like it sucked it right in. But did it like suck it in and appear somebody somewhere else? Uh, Richter will send the mage hand over to the towards this nose, but will stop in this square. Boot it! Boot it in the snoot! Okay. I'm pretty sure you're the snoot booter. As it gets uh, within what? five feet of it, um, I don't think your mage hand can actually be like dragged anywhere it doesn't want to go, can it? I have to command it, but... Because uh... it doesn't have an, uh, a, a corporeal body, right? No. So, yeah, it, it sits there. And you can see dust being pulled into the nose around it. So your mage hand doesn't move. It continues. It doesn't stop. To just make sure the mage hand will go down and gather up like a scoop of dust or cobwebs or something. It'll just like run, and run along the ground of the brick and then go up to the same spot and see if the dust flop, uh, flies in. The dust flies in. What about the other noses? Mm. Don't get too close to those noses, everyone. Let me know if you need the mage hand. Uh, Richter is going to ask the mage hand to do the same thing with the little skeleton face. The mouth open. Does dust fly into it when it gets closed? Nope. Just the mouth opens. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Director just kind of shares everything and lets everyone see what's going on. I take it these braziers are lit? They are. And are there any type, other types of skulls in this room, or just the two? 
The only one that looks slightly different is the one at the top of the archway. Okay, I this one seems to have lips, though made of stone as well. Seems to be runes uh, above a lot of these stones here, as you can see if you zoom in. A lot of these skull faces. However, this this set of runes above this one seems slightly different. Okay, Richter's going to do the same test with this skeleton. Hey, Ash and Spoonbreak, you guys staying on the stairs right now? Where is my body? I forgot I was that token. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand on the top of the stairs. Uh, the bottom, but sure. No, that's the. Nope that that's the bottom. You guys, you guys came from this direction. You guys came down. Oh, sorry. Okay, I thought we can't. It looks like the stairs are going up, but it's okay. Yeah, I... it's an optical illusion. It is. I will stand on the landing. Okay. As your mage hand nears this archway. Who are you to be here? Oh, oh. where did that voice come from? The, the murder skull, vulture. The skull with the lips. Oh. I would like to walk over to, to Richter and kind of just shove him forward so that he introduces himself. <laughs> Richter kind of like reluctantly walks forward. Um, <clears throat> clears his throat and says, we're here to look for great power. We are the Stormforged. Are you known to Vecna? Ooh, I kind of like give everyone like yeah. a side eye, like, oh shit. Phoenix will kind of clear his throat and be like, <clears throat> ah, with uh, Vecna's power, I would imagine we're all known to Vecna. You are truly known to Vecna. Vecna, known to you. I ask you a question. Sorry, I lost my spot. One second. What creature did Vecna create? Oh, that's so the wrong fucking world. That's Stranger Things. That's not D and D. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, you fucked up. Ignore, ignore that fucking that question. No, oh, again, Stranger Things. God damn it. Well, I'm going to grab a beer while you figure that out. Sorry, give me one minute. I fucked up. No problem. Did you know the answer to the original question, though? Because I've watched Stranger Things. <laughs>
Oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, so he's not giving you a riddle. He does. To gain entry, you must loudly announce a secret Vecna does not know of you. Oh. Hmm. Richter kind of scratches his chin and <clears throat> looks to his team and says, uh, I think this thing wants uh, some of our deepest, darkest desires, some sort of trade. Desires or secret? Secrets. Uh, I don't. I don't have any secrets. You, you go. I don't have any secrets either. Who keeps secrets among friends? Phoenix, like after saying that, Phoenix will pull out his fucking the bottle he's got on the go and take like a long pull. Quick, click. Click. You guys begin to hear a ticking. All right, all right, all right. The ticking pauses. Right. Well, I... You guys know I was exiled from my home, but... None of you know why. Nobody knows why outside of my home uh i'm from a monastery of pacifists and uh on is it visa or visa how do you pronounce that Master however card? you would like <laughs> visa isle um uh, this is very very strong policy against violence there and uh it was another monk when we were youth was always picking at me and 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 making fun of my technique you know he would tell me my punches were soft and my stances were weak and uh, things of that nature Any, anyway this, this went on for months months i tried my best to ignore him it was just, he always made me so <laughs> spoon breaker. Way to uh, break immersion, stone breaker, man. What the fuck? I shouldn't have looked. <laughs> uh, he's, he always made me so angry. And he, just, and he got meaner and meaner as time went on because I wouldn't give him the reactions he was looking for. And I... Eventually, I, I couldn't help it anymore. I lost control, and I, I pushed him. And I pushed him hard, and he he fell backwards, and well, he, he tumbled down the stairs, a lot of stairs, and he broke his I'm... neck. And, I mean, it was it was an accident, obviously, but uh, but the elders they didn't have a choice. They cast me out. There was a tabaxi monk named Swift. He had, he had taken me under his wing. He was one of the elders. And he ended up having to walk me out. It was humiliating. He, he wouldn't even look at me. Vecna is pleased. But before you may progress... You each must share your stories. The ticking begins again. Does I don't know Wabu. I just messaged him like, "Hey, I need your, I need your, uh, uh, your, 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 yeah, I need Wabu's." I thought he said he put in his bio info, but it's not fucking there. So, sure isn't. 
Yeah, no, so I messaged him. So Wabu's going to have to go last. Otherwise, we get no, to pick up something. <laughs> Wabu. I got something. It's not as good, but it's something. Uh, so I was raised to revere life and all its forms and beauty in all its forms. And yeah, The longer I've hunted, the longer I've killed, I've grown to enjoy it for the sake of killing. Uh, not necessarily for any end unto itself, but uh, just for the pure satisfaction of it. Uh, I, I fear I'm becoming what it is we fight against. And I went to bed till I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a powerful secret. Vecna is pleased. The ticking begins. No way, yay. Okay, Ash is ready. I just... We all know that I was orphaned from my clan at a very young age. And I told everybody... And I lied for many years, saying that it was due to a brutal raid attack on my village and that both of my parents were killed. But the fact is, I'm an idiot. And what truly happened was I was out on a hunt in the forest with my best friend. And we got attacked by some ice wolves and I thought he had been bitten. So in an attempt to save my village, I murdered him to find out later that we weren't attacked by wolves at all. We were attacked by cats. Like house cats? I was thinking more like Thundercats, but sure. <laughs> so your secret is stupidity. Vecna is pleased. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't actually say the stupidity part, just Vecna is pleased. I just thought it was funny because I couldn't tell. Yeah. Dog, werewolf from cat? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Hence my low intelligence score. The clicking begin, or the ticking begins again. Uh, all right, all right, all right. When I was younger, learning my ways of the Volkstruckers, I uh, was convinced that there would be no other way for me to ascend in my final form in a sense if i may and uh let's uh surmise it to the volkstrucker made me murder my family matricide matricide vanilla side Civil aside, Vecna is pleased with your secret. The ticking begins again. Richter will <clears throat> clear his throat and uh, look to around to his group and say, you all know the story of how I lost my brother and my arm. Um, well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. On the morning I lost my arm, um, my brother and I, my twin brother, uh, were in our usual just kind of horse play back and forth, and he was getting under my nerves, and um, he was getting a little bit more praise for the work around the house that day, just you know, getting on my nerves a bit. But uh, after he made a remark, I, I actually pushed him and he slipped into the mill. So I was actually the reason why he fell in. 
and when I reached in to try to save him, my arm was tore off in the process as well. But I never told another living soul about that push until today. And Richter kind of grabs his newly formed arm as it now actually exists because of reincarnation. Vecna is you pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Vecna is pleased. The ticking begins again. And for a moment, it doesn't seem like Wabu's paying attention. Um, but as he, we get to the... Uh, one more tick. Oh, oh, is, is it my turn? Uh, and he proceeds to tell you a story, which I don't know what it is, because Cameron hasn't got back to me, so... You guys will find out what that story is at a later date, I guess. Uh, but for now, you hear from the statue. Entry is permitted. However, proceeding may cost your life. You have been warned, as this is my secret. And with that, all of the lights around the room in the skull's eyes fade. We're left with several skulls all around the room just staring at you. The rubies and the sapphires in the eyes begin to clatter to the ground. Tempting, but it sounds like a trap. Loot! You guys going forward? Or are you grabbing the stones? Uh, yeah, Phoenix is just gonna go. He's looking mighty down on himself. <laughs> and slightly pie-eyed. As you enter this room, uh, you see before you a set of stairs leading up to what you can now see is a large vulture uh, with no eyes. The eyes must be in its mouth as it opens its uh, bill. You can see it at the back of the mouth staring at you. The rib cage, ex rib cage exposed. Uh, missing feathers all over the place. And it flaps its arms. Around the room you see uh, at the front of it, you see many more of these skulls. These ones, the eyes are still lit. Uh, two braziers, one on either side. And large spires um, around the platform at the top. To the east and west of the stairs and platform that Phoenix and Sulamin are standing on. Piles and piles and piles of bones. You cannot see the floor. You do not even know how deep these piles are. But just on the surface, you are to estimate it's probably around 37,000 dead bodies turned to skeletons. None of them seem to be moving. It's mulch. Uh, I got an important question. Yeah. Uh, did stepping forward and telling my humiliating story first uh, inspire my team to be brave? You know what? Perfect. I will give each and every one of you an inspiration point for sharing your secret. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna need that. You're all welcome. Yup. <laughs> You. As you begin to proceed into the room, the vulture stands up, exposing uh, that most of his innards are gone and those that are not are rotten. As this thing stands before you, it looks as if this creature is probably about 30 feet tall. The ceilings in this room, uh, you cannot even see them. You are not sure how high they are. Not Vulch. Not Vulch!
What do you what? wish to do? I like the other room better. Maybe oh, should... you're definitely going to like the other room better. <laughs> Maybe we should go pick up some loot and throw it at him. I don't know. Run. Ash is going to look over to Phoenix. Phoenix yep. is in a fighting stance, staring intently at the bird. Okay. Uh, Ash will match said fighting stance. It stays where it is. Its wings kind of ruffling a little bit. But it makes no move towards you. I would like to creep up the stairs. Yeah, let's move together. Cool. Stop there. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Wabu's in there, too. My bad. I forgot I had a second guy. <laughs> Is Spoonbreaker coming in? It looks yeah, like Spoonbreaker. Are you taking a step into the room or not? Smart. Yeah, and I'm inside. I'm I'm just inside. As you hit the stairs, it steps forward one space. You guys hear a click. And... Ah, uh, here it is. Let's do... The entire skull pool comes to life. Ah, uh... uh, not quite. Pulls us in. And then we get to body surf. I mean, pulls us in, turns into a million skulls to fight. Either way, hey, Richter, <laughs> we're not having a good time. I need you to move forward one more, please. It's Richter's choice if he wants to get slammed in the door. <laughs> I'm trying to make this thing large enough. That's what she said. Yep. Oof. You may all roll your initiatives. Ooh, Ash. Point zero one. Mm. And then Wabu got you by point zero one. That just means nobody can be inserted in between us. That's true. You can stop any time now, right? Oh, you're not supposed to see those! Fuck! Don't worry, Blair. We don't see the Bone Devils rolling initiative. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Well, at least you didn't see them all. I should have stopped. I shouldn't have said anything. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You're only allowed six. Sorry. No, I'm upset at the fucking initiative order rolls. Like the ones I did, because that's bullshit. Congratulations, you all Damn almost good. get to go first. Sounds good to us. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna... Yep. I don't think you're gonna agree with that. Oh, that's... Okay. That's a boosted HP. All right. <laughs> DM's cheating. Tell me something new. Damn, bro. Tell me how you really feel. As the fighting begins, Phoenix, you have the thing in front of you. However, you also notice 
the piles of skulls and bones on either side of the stairs begins to shift and move. It is your turn first. Uh, Phoenix will call that out. Like, ah, oh, the bones are moving. And he'll bolt up the stairs. Sure. Phoenix bolts up the stairs. What's your next move, my guy? What do you think? Snickety smack. What else you got? Okay, so that one there's a mess. Wow, are you serious? Oh, that's upsetting. All right. Um, yeah, as uh, this creature um, starts flapping its wings, Phoenix, you run in. Uh, okay, you're not killing it, but do you want? Do you guys want to start doing your own descriptions for your your what your character's doing, or do you want me to keep doing them? I mean, I can. It's up to you guys. This is kind of like a, a squad decision. Yeah. I'm down for describing my own attacks. Yeah, as long as you don't, uh, you don't be like, "Oh, I take his head off" or something before I say, "Yeah, it's it's he's done." But yeah, go ahead. Uh, Phoenix will come running up, and uh, flying sidekick into the fucking chest if I can. All right. Uh, first two and the last one are a hit. By the way. Yeah, so he'll throw a flying sidekick straight into its chest, and then uh, before he hits the ground, he'll swing and do a uh, roundhouse with his other foot. And then uh, he'll uh, miss with a punch, and uh, kind of as he's coming back down, he'll crack it in the knee with another punch, downward strike. Okay. Jesus Christ. It does not look like... Oh no, I just fucked that up. It doesn't look like any of your uh, attacks uh, were resisted at all. Um, he is kind of reeling a little bit. Uh, kind of stumbling. Uh, he's still well ready to go, though. Sorry, so am I. And you're controlling Wabu. Uh, Wabu is gonna do a thing that is definitely something. Um, do I need to be able to see the moon to cast Moonbeam? Silvery beam of pale light shines down a five foot radius, 40 feet high. Uh, no. Now, like, uh, Call Lightning, I believe, specifically says you gotta be, like, in an area where, you know, you can create a cloud, like, tall enough for a cloud to be in there. Uh, Moonbeam just says, creates a beam of light. So it is totally fine. Go ahead. All right, then I will cast a moonbeam. Uh, how is it five foot radius? Yes. Five foot radius, so, okay.
And where are you placing it, good sir? On the bird. Okay. And it's Radiant, con save. It is a fail. Ready for the time on a turn, or it starts its turn. Okay, so it'll take more damage at the start of its turn. Okay. Uh, it's not a shape changer, so that doesn't matter. Bonus action. You, sorry, use an action on each of your turns. Subsequent turns. Move it. Okay. Uh, you see this thing's creature, uh, as this beam of light comes down and shines down on it, it, it doesn't actually make any sound, but it's the way its wings and feathers are moving uh, seems like it did hurt. Bob, we got anything else? Um, I think he already used his uh unicorn thingy, and we haven't had a short rest yet. Did he? I think he did on the other floor. Why is it uh, say zero of one in its resources? I don't think it was on his resources. Uh, wild shape, blast exhaustion, branding smite, misty step, fireball beads. Uh, it is not. I don't think he did. So we're going to say he didn't, uh, but he only gets to use it once, right? Yeah, so I think I'm going to sit on that for now. All right, uh, and it is Spirit Totem. Hold on a sec, let me go back to his page real quick. He sets on short rest. There we go. I don't remember him using it, and he's not here to verify either way, so... You guys might need it. I'm gonna say he didn't use it. Alright, uh... Ash, you are up. Good sir. <laughs> he sure is. Um, I'm going to rush up the stairs next to Phoenix here, and I'm going to swing my hammer. Uh, yeah, you haven't had that hammer very long, eh? It's kind of the first thing everybody wants to do is swing it around. Exactly. Looks like it'd be a fun toy. Uh, 34, 636 bit. <laughs> 20 bludgeoning and 11 radiant. Okay. I'm just, Ash is just coming in, like swinging it two handed, you know, going uh, right to left, like uh, the bird is a um, uh, uh, ball. Like we're, we're playing some game. All right. Give me your attacks. The rest of them then. And. Um, 37 to hit, 22 bludgeoning, and 9 radiant. Crunch and crunch. And I would like to activate my auras. Many, many auras. So I would like to give... Um, Phoenix, temporary hit points. I believe it is. We're up to five temporary hit points. Let me double check. My notes. And you're at 15 feet now, right? For your. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think anybody else fits my radius right now, but. Um, I want my docks open. Oh, no. There we go. Uh oh, it's fifteen temporary hit points because it's uh five times three. 
Yeah, but mm -hmm. I, I was talking about the um, radius. Yeah, my radius is up to 15 okay. feet. And I would also like to get a strength check from the bird. Um, DC 18. Okay. And what is the effect? Um, speed reduces to zero till the start okay. of my turn. And <laughs> it's covered in magic frost as a description. Oh, it literally could not have rolled lower. <laughs> hey, me. So I get five for sure? Or... You get 15. 15. 15. Yeah, for you and for me. Sick. Yeah, uh, one of her items increases the effect of her aura. Times three, which is awesome. Times three? Yeah. The the new necklace you gave me times is we had this conversation last game. So yeah, no, no, I, I know. Uh, do me a favor then. Can you post your just the storm aura, not the sub ones, but the main one? Uh... I think the original goes out like 10 feet, isn't it? All right, let's see. 10 feet, yeah. Okay, so three times that is 30 feet, not 15. Uh... No, like if you actually read the necklace, it says that the aura goes out five feet, but the effects are oh, worth. Oh, okay. So my aura only goes up an extra five feet, which is fifteen, and then the effects is times three, which okay, that's that's fair then. Temporary hit points. Very well. All right, let's see. Uh, that is thirty-three. Uh, 42. Anything else from you, Ash? That's everything. Richter, you're up. Richter is kind of posted up in the corner here. Um... <clears throat> He's going to cast a firebolt at this thing. Uh, as well. What's the, the D10? So I get an extra D10 for the Staff of Knowledge. Thirty-one. That is a yeah. hit. Yeah, and he just whips it right at it. Son of a bitch! I fucked up again. I fat fingered, and now his his uh, HP is minus equals thirty-one instead of whatever the fuck it was supposed to be. Control Z. All right, he was at one hundred and twenty-two. Or, sorry, 222 off the Phoenix. Ash hit it. And how much did Wabu hit it for? Was eight. Ash just hit it for, what did I say? 64, right? Yep. And you hit it for 31. Uh, it still looks like it is uh, ready to go, um, but it is definitely looking injured. Uh, you see its wing, uh, some of its feathers are starting to burn. Um, the the beak keeps kind of like half closing over the eye. Um, uh, I'm going to allow one of you to do an insight check. You guys decide who. Not Ash. Uh, Phoenix is pretty away. goddamn insightful. Yeah, I'm I'm far away. Damn, that's rough. Uh, it's still a twelve, and it's not hard to understand. This is the equivalent of somebody wincing. Anything else, Richter? Mm, that's it for Richter. Spoon fucker, it's your turn. All right. Wait. 
Liquor is going to cast. Uh, you cut out? Pull the dead. I believe that's 48. Uh, it is 4012. It's been injured. Well, alright, 4012. Uh, and a wisdom save. Which is a 20, which does not pass. It's a goddamn shame, isn't it? Honestly, I thought you guys were probably going to kill it, even with the boosted HP before you, your next turn, so we'll see. <laughs> Got anything else? Uh, I'm going to go right there, actually. And that's the end of my turn. Oops, I didn't mean to make that longer. All right. As you guys are pummeling this creature with attacks, the bones begin to shift. And suddenly, some of them begin to rise. As this pile of bones begins to rise... It stands tall. Rising bones, you say? Yes. Giggity. What looks Sorry, to be an absolutely though. massive creature coalesces from all these bones, even as it's standing more being dragged into its form. It roars before it charges forward. And let's take a look here. We got... Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is nasty. Okay. It charges forward. Seeing the first two creatures. The first one is that Wabu. Does a 16 hit? No. It slams its hand down and Wabu manages to uh, just barely get out of the way. And it goes to do a slam uh, again at Spoonbreaker uh, in a back fist. Hey, Spoonbreaker, does a 30 hit? Yeah, sure it is. Hey, be glad it wasn't the first attack. The first one was a hell of a lot worse. Uh, you take 28 bludgeoning, 8 thunder damage. Uh, you might be resistant to that. I can't remember your character. Um, just the thunder damage, though. And I need you to make a... Strength saving throw, please. Yep. And how much damage you said? Uh, it is 28 bludgeoning and 8 thunder before any resistances. I would also like you to roll me 2d6, please. That's to see how far you get tossed into the bone pile. Nope, it was a backhand. I want to see how much damage it takes from slamming into the door. You take another 6 bludgeoning damage. You're sent flying backwards. You slam into the door and slump down to the ground. Uh, you are prone currently, so next turn it will take half your movement to stand up. Another creature um, coalesces out of the uh, bones of the area. It races. 
uh, across the, the bones. Rushing first at Sulamine. All right. Sulamine, what's your AC? 26. Wow. Okay. Uh, as this thing charges in, it makes one claw attack at you. You manage to dodge. Uh, it makes another one. You duck underneath it. Uh, a, a large tail like a scorpion, however bony, flies around it, and it goes to stab you, and it misses by mere inches. Another of those creatures, creatures arise. It charges in. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Which is... Eight is 40 feet, so... Yeah, it's going to uh, hold an action here, I think. Another creature arises. Phoenix, at, at your height, um, where the bone pile is, is probably about 10 feet below your position. However, this thing being so large, it is easily able to reach you. How come everything's blue? What do you mean everything's blue? Like, there's a giant blue circle taking up the majority of the map. Yeah. I was going to ask the same thing. What? There's a massive blue circle, like... Oh my god, so it stayed there, but it disappeared on my fucking screen is what you're saying, eh? Yeah. I mean, that's... I guess that's what I'm saying. Does everybody see the blue circle? Yeah, I thought it would... I thought someone was going to take it away. Yep, it's there. Can anybody hit delete? Oh, I did. Did delete for everyone or just me? I can't even click on it. Uh, so if you go up to like the northern point, it should say 50. If you hover over 50, it should give you a trash can. Okay, yeah, I could delete it. Okay. Uh, as this thing charges at you, Phoenix, makes its attacks. That's a miss. Pretty sure it is. What's your AC? 23. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, ma yeah, you managed... manifested it. <laughs> yeah, you, you managed to, like, as it uh, goes to punch you, you kind of like leap over its fists. And as you're in the air, it goes to swing up. But you kind of grab on the, one of the, the arms for just a second so you can swing back underneath it, land back in the position you were in as it misses you. Another creature coalesces. It charges in at Richter. Oh boy. Hey, Richter. Yes, sir. Do you want to use any kind of reaction? Well, I was thinking about it, depending on how hard this thing hit me. You're not going to get to know that. Yeah, I'm going to shield myself. Cool. It was a crit. Uh, oh, it's sorry. It's a, you shielded? Yeah, no. This yeah. crit's going to go through it. It's a crit. 
Got him. Yeah. Uh, 16 piercing. Mm -hmm. Uh, 30 poison. And a con save, please. <laughs> uh, you are poisoned for one minute. Sing makes two claw attacks, and with your your small nimble frame, you manage to uh duck underneath two of them. However, as you stand back up, hold the... on, one, I, I, sorry, I do have resistance. Mm. Yeah. That's okay. I got to do another throw, and I have resistance to the poison. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I mean, you're still getting hit, so I'm going to describe it anyways. Yep. Um, yep, yep. As you manage to get out of the way of the second one, and, and you kind of like roll to the side, you come back to your feet just in time to see its tail zip in and slam into your arm. Uh, you do not have poison condition. Still take poison damage, but, you know, minus your resistance. Can you repeat the damage for me? 16 and 30? Uh, yeah, 16 piercing, 30 poison. Okay, so it's 16 and 15 for the half damage. Yep. 31 in total. Okay. Not wanting to be outdone, they continue to spawn, for lack of a better word. Mm, actually... This one's not coming up quite yet. I'm going to leave that one where it is. Sulamine, you're up. All right. Having never heard of it, Sulamine's going to do a Mozambique anyway. And he's going to fire two shots uh, at the bird's chest. Mozambique here. Oh, there's a bad joke there. <laughs> Apex Legends, baby. Let's go. He's got a favorite foe on that. Hey. Uh, which one are you shooting at? Sorry. Uh, large rock looking thing or buzzard thing, whatever it is. Okay. All one right. more, I'm going to aim for the head. Oh, and those yeah, are using so... fire arrows. Sorry. No worries. Would you like to uh, describe what's happening? He, it's not... I don't think it's dead yet. Maybe it is. You know what it might be. How many has he got left? Uh, wait, let me remove poison and see how much it actually hit for. And there are fire arrows, so there should be another 3d6 on it, but I'll roll it. Okay. You, sir, were not taking off your sneak attack after your first attack. Oh, shit. Five God and six. It. Did you add your umbral damage on there? My uh, extra 1d8 for the first round? Yeah. Yeah, I added that one. And I meant to click off the sneak. I didn't click it properly, I guess, because it's still there. Your piercer is also there, which I think you were using for your extra d8. Are you not? No, I've got a dread ambush there for the extra d8. So the piercer should only apply once, though. Because I can only re-roll one roll per round, right? One D1. Like, if I roll a one, I can re-roll that. If I remember it right. Yeah, so unless you crit, you don't get an extra dice. So that shouldn't be checked at all. All right, so I'm totally fucked up. All right, well, let me start this over then. Let's see, we got... Would he, he gets an extra dice on his first attack that hits. I yeah, think, yeah, for us. Ambush, right? Yeah, but what I'm saying is he's he's got it listed as Piercer. So his first one, yes, that works. But the other two still have Piercer on it. You don't get an extra D8 from Piercer unless you crit. Is what I'm saying. Gotcha. 
Yeah. Uh, so I should have had Dread Ambush normal first. All right, give me a sec. Let me. So I mean, you got Piercer, and it's the same same damage uh, amount. So we'll keep it for the first one. And you, your favorite foe only does one d eight per turn, right? Uh, yes. First time on each of your turns that you get. Okay, so twenty nine, seven, plus. So basically, the the second, uh, the thirty and the twenty five. Oh, sorry, the twenty five. You have the dread ambusher and the piercer. So basically, your your thirty and your twenty five don't. They're they're not there. Okay. Total still ninety five though. Does that do it, or should I just grab a one? Oh, uh, also I didn't add that nine in. You know what? The nine does it. That last nine, you needed that. Aha. Uh -huh. So I mean, let's his rounds walk up the uh, creature's chest. First one in the abdomen, second in the chest, and. Third in the face, uh, as the creature slumps to the ground, uh, blood seeping from its wounds, and that marks the end of my turn because there's nowhere to hide. Mickey Rourke steps uh, steps out over the bird's corpse, and he's like, "Who killed my bird?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, we will leave him where he is for the moment. Actually, no, he's coming in. This one charges. Uh, he runs up the side of this creature and leaps. Landing atop the corpse. Uh, let's see. There's a bone collector. I can delete him now. He lands atop's cor atop the corpse. What's your AC again, Phoenix? More than you can handle. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> uh, it, it leaps uh, uh, on top of this corpse, staying out of the beam of light, and it slashes at you. Uh, it misses both first slashes, but these things are very good at landing their sting attack when you manage to get around their claws. 27. You're immune to poison as a monk, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, well, 16 piercing. And uh, as, as this manages to bury its stinger into your leg, um, you almost hear whispers in your ear saying, Go fuck yourself! And uh, Bone Colossus. Is going to rise as well. This one rises, steps to here. What is Abu? Oh wow! What is Abu? What is Wabu's AC again? Twenty-one. Oh, the first one hits him. I don't believe it. Uh it, it comes in with a strong slam. Um, 
Wabu manages to like get his body out of the way, um, but it slams on his foot. He takes 37 bludgeoning and 9 thunder damage, and I need a strength saving throw, please. Yeah, Wabu is knocked back into this creature um, and knocked prone. Did you say 36 and 9? Uh, 37 and 9. This one runs up on you, Ash. Tracy? No, my name's Ash. This motherfucker. What is your AC? Oh, I thought you said Tracy. <laughs> Why would I call you Tracy, I, I, I heard the same thing and was also quite confused. <laughs> that's, that's my, my name's Ash. Actually, <laughs> twenty-one, twenty-one. Uh, you managed to parry two attacks with your axe, and then uh, wait, is that with your shield out or not? Twenty-one without my shield. Okay. Uh, you manage to parry both of the claw attacks, and then as it thinks it's got you, it brings its stinger straight down towards your head, and you manage to sidestep it. Sweet. This one walks in. Oh, wow, that's the reach? Really? Oh, never mind. It's going to stop right here. I didn't realize these things had such a big reach. Well, Ash and Phoenix, in that order. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's almost finished coalescing into uh this creature but before it's finished it it makes its attack uh turns out to be a little weaker than it expected it just saw something and you know wanted to crush it uh manages to miss you both congratulations Woohoo! phoenix phoenix <clears throat> is going to attack this guy <laughs> Those all hits. Oh, lowest sorry. I didn't realize you were, you had actually done the attacking yet. <laughs> yeah, lowest is 20. Uh, on that dude right north of you, right? Yeah. God damn. God damn. Yep. All right. So Phoenix will uh, do like a hooking kick. And then a roundhouse kick with the same foot. Now when he comes down, he'll throw a double punch. At what size is this creature considered? Large. Large and in charge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not. What are you doing, Phoenix? Why, why are you asking that as if I didn't know? Uh, I'm going to try to knock the creature prone. Oh, I thought you were trying to do a stunning strike. And yeah, probably a better idea, but you know. How are you doing that? With a uh, charge from my uh, Dawnflower amulet. Okay. So I need uh, 
dex or straight strength saving throw your discretion uh dc is uh 20 just passed whore yeah i i've rolled really well on that too that's the only reason I was literally expecting that to fail. As soon as I looked at his stats, I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, as, as you uh, make that last attack uh, in an attempt to knock him over, he lifts one foot, and you see him put a bunch of his weight onto his tail to keep him um, upright. And you hear him. <laughs> I could always use another kitty pelt. I'll leave the blood and meat stuck to it on my wall. <laughs> uh, you did do some pretty good damage, though. Uh, let's see. Phoenix will smile at him and step back in his stance. He'll be like, come and get it. God damn it. Yeah, he's still up. Would you like to know what this creature is, Fee? Uh, sure. <laughs> um, you may give me a uh, I'm gonna say Arcana or History. On this one. <clears throat> you would recognize this as a bone devil. Um, oh my god, it is? Yeah, yeah. Um, this particular one, uh, being as most devils and demons you think would come from a hot place, you would feel your fire wouldn't work too well on it. However, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. <laughs> However, um, the particular part of the um, the abyss. No, not the abyss. Sorry. Um, yeah, the abyss. Um, is cold. You're not surprised the fire worked. However, you've got a feeling that the cold might any cold damage a friend might do. Might not harm it. Got anything else? Might not harm it. Cold, yes. Okay, I'll yell that out. Avoid cold damage. And no, that's gonna be it for me. Oh, I do. He is prone. Wabu is gonna stand up. Uh, just one sec, because my plan is changing. Uh... Um... Hang on, sorry. How's everybody else look? Fine. Very sure. Looking healthy. Everybody else is looking pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, I broke a sweat, but looking good. Okay, in that case. Uh, he's just going to drink a potion. Action or bonus action? Bonus action! Alright, you roll for it. Uh... 
an action Wabu's gonna phone a friend. Cool, so his moonbeam disappears. Oh, oh, it's concentration. Okay, yeah. What are you summoning? Oh, fuck, I don't know. It says DM has the creature's stats. Yeah, of whatever you want to summon. <laughs> well, fuck, I don't know what I can summon. <laughs> a fey creature. I have no idea what they are. All right, woodland beings, fake creatures. Uh, uh, challenge option. rating one. One of the following options: one fake. Okay, challenge rating. It's Christ. Oh my god, you just had to make this fucking difficult! <laughs> I did. Oh, that's a challenge. Man, I don't know most fake creatures. Uh... Oh, Dryads are out. He wouldn't summon that because they're useless. Like Centaurs, I think, are too high challenge rating. All right, well, this is going to be a task for everybody. Go into the compendium. What you're going to do is you're going to go down in the list until you see monsters. You're going to click on that, and then right right next to the search bar, it should be filters. Go down and look for Fey. Just regular Fey. Hit apply. Unless everybody goes through until they find a, uh, a cool-looking level 1. Or challenge rating one. That's an eleven. Jesus, that's a ten. Oh, a bannock. That's a bannock. Oh. That's a quarter. That's a level nine. Wow. Maybe a dryad? I looked, but, uh, I mean... The Baba Yaga. You know what? Let's, uh, let's see if Wabu knows if it's going to be useful or not. Have Wabu give me a... History or Arcana? And then a Nature. He's not going to know whether it's going to be useful or not. So, would he summon a Dryad? Or should we keep looking, Phoenix? There's sure. A... Why the fuck not? What, summon it? Fun. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. And how many can you summon that are of challenge rating one? One. Really? 
Ja. Mhm. Oh, two, sorry. Okay. And where would he like to summon them? That up. Um, like, in front of him. And I believe uh, he is Shepherd, so I think his summonable creatures, or is it just beasts? They get bonuses, I think. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, it'll be in his features. Or maybe his artifact sets. You look in his features, I'll look in, his, in the artifact sets. But I think he gets bonuses. Uh, it looks like it's a beast and fey. So, any beast or fey summoned, uh, which is it? Got a, uh, appears with more hit points than normal. Two extra hit points per hit dice. It's, uh, actually at this level, it'll be challenge rating one. So, so an extra four hit points, which, honestly, if it gets hit, it's not going to fucking matter. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, natural weapons, they're magical for overcoming immunity resistance uh, to non-magical attacks. Alright, so you should now have, at the top of your journal, a dryad. And you may add uh, the extra four hit points onto it, uh, both those tokens. And you have control of them. Uh, do they roll their own initiative according to the spell, or uh, according to the spell? Yeah, but that's up to you. If you want to just do them at the same time as Wabu or not? Yeah, we're gonna do their own separate initiative. So you can click on each one and roll their initiative from the stop block. Um, okay, yeah, uh, has you got anything else? Nope, did you add his hit points from the ocean? To him? Because uh... it's showing on my screen you didn't. On my screen you didn't. So I just want to make sure it's actually there. No, it's just still on my calculator here. Ash, you are up. Excellent. Ash is going to be pretty pissed off about the guy in front of her so she is going to rage oh, about and, time yeah exactly and in her rage she is going to swing her maul at this I don't know white winged creature um recklessly not that I need it to be reckless or anything because I think that only gives me advantage right yeah. Uh, yeah, it gives you advantage. Yeah, I don't really need a 33 to hit. <laughs> yep. Uh, 7 rage, uh, 22 bludgeoning, and 8 radiant. Mm. Why does your maul have that extra on it, the activated? Uh, oh, I might have checked off the wrong one. Yeah, because you you got to uh, take a bonus action to activate your your artifact weapons. Yeah, and I already activated my rage as a bonus yep. action. So yep. Did you re-roll that? Uh, no, we'll just remove the fucking 
Uh, I guess you rolled a three. So we'll just remove three from it. Go ahead, make your next attack. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, you are. Crit. <laughs> what? That's not a crit. The four is. I'm just saying it's a thirty-five yeah. hit. Why do you have bless on? Oh no, my bless is always on, isn't it? Well, it shouldn't be. Okay. Oh my god. Everything is blessed, man. <laughs> White boy just went full island, boy. <laughs> 31 to hit. Yeah, 30 and 31, they both hit. Okay, 4 raging, 22 bludgeoning, and 5 radiant. And again, I'm just um, using my maul as like a batting stick right now. And I am going to um, not use any of my movement. I'm going to stay where I am. And that is Ash. Rector. Uh, Rector is going to clench his fist and cast Crown of Stars. Uh, the motes appear around his head. I have a 60-foot bright light around myself. And using that was my action. So I'm going to use my one bonus action to hurl a moat at um, this thing right in front of me. Uh, at that range, uh, and it, it will be a ranged spell attack, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so it's disadvantage. Okay, he's gonna go for it anyways. Um, ascending in just a moment. Oh, I love how all these high-level spells are getting burnt. It's my favorite. Don't underestimate, underestimate, underestimate my ability to drink brain juice. Don't under, underestimate your ability to fucking die from it. <laughs> it's true, but... Oh, sorry, I didn't hit this advantage. It doesn't fucking matter. This thing just shifts its head out of the way and you see it sail past. Yeah, Richter's just going to grit his teeth and brace, him, brace himself for what comes next. Oh, man. Pain. That's right. Lots you you use bonus out of Shiny even Misty Step. What a shame. Yep. Hey, Spoon Breaker. My guy, my buddy, my rabbit furry. It's your turn. to chain lightning and uh Let me spell that. Why are you so cool oh so quiet my guy? Huh? There you go, that's better. You're gonna what now? I'm going to Chain Lightning and Twin Spell. Uh, you cannot Twin Spell Chain Lightning. No! Chain Lightning hits an absolute bunch of creatures. Uh, to Twin Spell, it has to hit one target only. Sounds made up, but alright. Read your meta magic, my boy. Alright, dead out Twin Lightning. Twin these notes. And... I'm going to hit Well, uh, roll your damage Wait, ignore this roll, ignore this roll Why? You, you hit it 
the um, roll because the roll I didn't is put roll. my other shit on it. I didn't put my other stuff on it. So all you gotta do is if you the other shit you want to add to it, if you just click the numbers next to that, so you like your spire conflux. If you just click the numbers next to spire conflux, it'll do the roll. I know, but I didn't do it on the roll. I just did. Well, that's that's what I mean. Don't 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 click the checkbox. Just click the the numbers where it says the damage. Oh, okay. Hold on. And it's D eight. Yeah. If you just just click the D eight one, it should roll it. And if not, then click the word. There you go. Anything else you're adding to it? Um. That's all I can do for that. Okay. So, that is a total of 56. It is a deck save. And sorry, which ones were you hitting? Us. So, the three big ones and the, the middle, um, this one here? No, the one down here. Okay, and then the, the three Colossus and this one. Yeah. Okay. So that is three Colossus deck saves. Oh, boy. My boy, those are fails across the fucking board. I misheard for a second. I thought you said death saves. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> nope, just a little bit of dexterity saves. Um, as you release a spell, would you like to describe what happens to all of these creatures? Keep in mind, they do not die. But they did take the damage. Um, uh, I guess lightning is going to, uh, build up around my fingertips. And I'm just going to fucking send it. And it's just, you know, it's lightning. It's going to be pretty quick. Just pew, 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 pew. As it arcs from each uh, creature to the next, uh, you can see them kind of convulsing a little bit, which is strange, considering they don't have muscles, just bone. But you can start to see scorch marks appearing on the um, these large skeleton-built creatures. Um, it is obvious they took the damage, but they are nowhere near defeated. You got anything else, my guy? Nope. Uh, maybe. Can I move back, or is the door closed behind me? Oh, the 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 like it's closed. There's there's no way cool, to actually cool, open cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'm vibing. Sure. There's. Uh, I mean, you did just use one of your spells. I think you got something that makes you fly a little bit away. But maybe you can use some movement if that's your thing. No. I don't know where I'm going. That's not safer than where I'm at. Fair enough. I definitely wasn't trying to lead you into a trap. Okay. Conjure Woodland Beings is a concentration. Just wanted to check before I made my attacks. Swabu stands and summons these creatures. The Bone Colossus continues his assault on Wabu. What's Wabu's AC? Venti uh twenty-one. We. Oui. That took me longer than I fucking thought it would. 
Um, that was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> dick. Um, yeah, so... 30 bludgeoning and 14 thunder. I need a con save to hold concentration and a strength save to keep his footing. All right, one thing at a time. What was the damage? Uh, unless he has resistance to thunder, the total is 44. 14 of that is thunder. And a con save? Con save to hold concentration, and then a strength save. Uh, half of 44 is 20. Uh, does Big he have fail. Warcaster? Does he have Warcaster? Why are you asking me so many questions? It'll be in his feet. If he does, then he has advantage on the concentration save. Oh, yeah. damn! My friend. He holds concentration. However, he does get knocked back. Uh, I need a dexterity save from this dryad. Uh, behind him. Uh, I don't see anything for saves, so I just roll a straight dex then, right? Yep. Yeah, that's not a good one. Yeah. She gets pushed 10 feet back, and uh, as well as Wabu. Uh, they both hit the ground. Um, Wabu is pretty close to her, though. She's not going to take any damage for it. Actually, she rolled a nat 1 on the save. She is going to take a little damage. As Wabu slams into her with his very heavy, stout body. Um, you hear a snap as uh, one of the legs breaks. I want you, sir, to roll me. I'm going to go with 1e10. And she should have 24 health right now, I believe, before that, right? Yeah. All right, so 20, so she's down to 18. Uh, the Dryad shouts, Silly little man. Or, sorry, you sorry little turtle. You've broken my leg! Bone Devil goes for Sulamine again. Sulamine, good sir, what is your AC again? 26. Fucking hate you people. Misses, misses, uh, you dodge as the stinger comes down at your skull. Uh, this one. Going to charge up here. Gonna go for Phoenix. Phoenix, AC, please. 23. Uh, you take 10 slashing as the second claw attack hits. Uh, and then, as you're kind of reeling from the first one, the stinger comes around and pierces into your belly. Uh, you do not take the poison, because you're immune, right? See. Uh, so you take 12 piercing from that, please. And as you seem to, like, kind of stand back up, Bone Dove goes, Why? Why is my poison having no effect? Probably because you're a little bitch. And as you finish that word, you suddenly get a, uh, a little spidey sense tingle. And uh, you manage to, uh, as you finish the sentence, you look up and dodge to the, the right just in time as he comes back around with the other hand. And you manage to dodge back to the left into your original position, uh, avoiding both of these attacks. This bone devil, uh, Richter, Richter, my He's boy. Like, Whoa, that was close. You're a sneaky one. Uh, actually, does he say anything? Hold on a sec. Languages. Oh, he speaks common. 
And you're a quick one. Oh, yeah. Bone Daddy. <laughs> Bone Daddy! <laughs> oh, fuck. Rector! Tracy, buddy. My AC is 22. Uh, you managed to get lucky, as you managed to dodge all of these. You know what? Nobody's making quick work, but you guys also aren't doing an absolute fuck ton of damage. I think this one's popping out now. Do it. Oh, he gonna. He gonna do it. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 30, 35. Oh, he can just get close enough. Hey, Spoonbreaker, guess what? What's your AC, buddy? Uh, you are far away from your microphone again. 23. Uh, you managed to dodge and, uh, sorry, actually, you got a shield, right? You managed to block the first two, uh, attacks. Uh, however, this sting comes around and, uh, pierces your side. 14 piercing, 16 poison, for a grand total of 30. And I need a constitution saving throw, please. Would you like to know where the stinger pierced you? I said the side. In the side. It was in your butt. I could only hope and pray. <laughs> <laughs> that would empower him. BDSM to the fucking 10th degree. Um, Yeah, you, you, you are not poisoned for the minute, but you still take the full poison damage. Zulamine, you're up. Okay, I think I've got my modifiers right. Question though, can I see the Bone Devil just north of um, Phoenix? With all that traffic in between us. This one? No, the one that oh, I saw. Oh, the Bone Devil? In. He's the one above. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, Captain you may. Captain Kill Sniper wants another one of my fucking kills. Yes, you, you can see him, yes. So my thinking was, if we all focus fire something down, it'll go faster. But okay, it's cool. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just being a fucking shithead. You oh, okay. kill whoever That's you cool. want, That's man. Cool. He's being a Warzone player. That's what he's doing. I'm just trying to get us through this. <laughs> so I'm going to take a shot at this guy up here. Mm -hmm. And normal arrow. Okay. And so the sneak comes off, and the favorite foe comes off. Sneak and favorite foe, good, good. And I'm going to fire one more time at him. Okay. As both these hit, would you like to describe how they hit? Uh... Actually, you know what, let me total this, he might be dead. Give me a sec. Yeah, you want to describe how he dies? So Silamine fires past Phoenix's shoulder, uh, driving two arrows into the Bone Devil's face. Uh, as the Bone Devil crumbles to the ground in front of Phoenix, Phoenix is now free to turn his attentions elsewhere. Uh, and that is all Silamine has for this round. He collapses to the ground in front of you, uh, Phoenix. Uh, the annoyance of uh, having... Two kills stolen from in front of you um, is Instigator. making you get a little ragey. Does he get an extra two damage? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. He explodes in multi-class. Oh. Oh, no. This is, this is rough. This is going to be rough. 
So these two are both prone. First one is going to be at uh, Wabu. The second one is going to be at the Dryad. Oh, it didn't roll at advantage. Hold on. Um, okay, first one was higher. And, yeah. All right, so... Wabu takes 26 bludgeoning and 10 thunder. He's not going to be... You know what? He is going to be shoved. He's going to move 10 feet. Because he's not on his feet. He can't make the strength save against that. Uh, second one. Uh, AC of 11. Yeah, she fucking poofs. No. Own Devil is going to attack Ash again. Is it though? Uh, I think it is. Your AC is twenty-one, right? It sure is. It misses the first attack as you you. You kind of hold your your maul out, and it slams its uh, wrist. But you can't get it back into position before it cuts across your gut, dealing five slashing damage. And as you're reeling from that, the stinger goes into your neck. Okay. Are you resistant or immune to poison? Yes, I am. Which? Immune. I have a trusty necklace. Right. I couldn't I can't remember who has those fucking things. Um as the, the it goes in, you feel it. The the pain is searing. Um black veins start to spread out before fading away into nothing. But poison it does nothing to you. Uh but you do take 14 piercing, please. Um it is then going to run. You can use an attack of opportunity should you wish. Sure do. He'll turn his head back and he'll be like, that's because you're a bitch too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to use an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Send it. 20 to hit? Yep. Cool. Four raging, 22 bludgeoning, and nine radiance, please. Two. One. Uh, it, you managed to break some bones off of this creature. There's a chunk of it missing, but it continues to run away. It, I have a question. Huh? I have a question. Yeah. If I want to spend a charge on my maul, can I grapple this bitch? Is that an option you have? Uh, I do have it as an option. I just don't know if it would work on a reaction turn because it doesn't really say. Um, if okay, so it it would have been okay. Hold on a sec. Let me let me take a look at the the thing. I made these things. And I still don't know what the fuck they do properly. Uh, you know what you should have, Ash. What? That. Yeah. Um, where does it say that? It's actually on the tattoo that it's listed. Oh, the tattoo. I thought it was on the weapon. N well, no, but I'm I'm assuming it's I'm using the weapon to. No, the jewel has its own charges. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, I thought there were just one big pool, but good, good. Uh, well, wearing the jewel, you can expend one charge to cast invisibility. Uh, you can hold concentration while, uh, raging. While wearing a holy jewel, yada yada yada, uh, storm more increases by five feet, double effect, uh, increases to five charges. May now use one chance, no, one charge to end a grapple, paralyzed, oh. or restrained condition. Okay, I read it wrong. My bad. Okay, continue. No action, uh, sorry, uh, no action required, or uh, okay, so 
you can end it like on your turn as no action required with one charge or you can end it on someone else but you can't active uh, like grapple somebody with it got it okay i read it wrong my fault But yeah, if you get another chance to take an ASI, Sentinel is a melee striker's best friend. Okay. Because if we're sitting, like if we're fighting side by side, right? If I get attacked, you get a reaction attack against the creature that hits me. Plus, if they try to run, you could have reduced his speed to zero when you hit him, and then yeah. he can't go nowhere. Yeah, yeah. It's great. <laughs> I'll put that on my list of things to look out for. Yeah, I give Sentinel to, uh, I think, most of my melee strikers. So this one runs down towards your squishies, which our melee boys have left swinging in the breeze. It's the Dryad's turn. And a beautiful turn it will be. Yeah, you sure about that? I don't know. It's gonna do something. Uh, got him. Wow, actually, Jesus Christ. Yeah, surprisingly, that's a hit. Take that, you big bastard. <laughs> Uh, she, she's, oh she kind of looks at this thing and back at Wabu. Really? This is what you expect me to do? Oh, by the way, Wabu does have to give them orders. Uh, future reference. It doesn't require an action, I don't think. I want to just take a, uh, check of that spell. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, we got so sidetracked trying to pick one, I forgot after <laughs> we finally picked them to tell them. I mean, they're, I mean, their job was to attack. I mean, I figured that. Fair enough. Given. Uh, hey, man, there's other things I can do. I'm just, just, just letting you know future reference. But yes, uh, she, she Wabu's kind of like laying there on the ground, shrugs, and she makes her swing, and a couple chips of bone fly off. Just, just a couple little chips. Is that yeah, it for Wabu her? Will just, Wabu will just kind of blink at him. Like, oh, you did what he's supposed to do. He attacked. Uh, this one is going to use one of his attacks to just grab this devil from behind and throw it out of its way. I want Sulamine, Richter, and Spoonbreaker. I want dexterity saves, please. Holy fuck, Sulamine. You dodge out of the way and dance on its grave. For real. Perfect. Richter? Richter has chosen death. Richter has 20 seconds to unmute himself, or somebody else rolls for him. Dun, dun, dun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The first person to roll a d20, that's what we take. Go ahead, everybody do as quick as you can, see what we get. Damn, Ash. <laughs> Damn, why would you roll? You roll like shit and you know it. Damn, you're just trying to get Richter fucking kills. God damn. Can't win if you do, can't win if you don't, Ash. <laughs> Alright, well, let's... Uh, I believe in you, Ash. Let's, I do too. Let's see what his dex is. A four. So, fourteen. You need a deck save for me too. Not now. 
<laughs> it's too late. They rolled for you. You've been gone for a minute and a half. I, I had them roll for you. I'm sorry, my boy. I was I was sitting here listening. I, I don't know how I missed that. Oh, what? I even you were in trouble. How did you not hear me? Well, he was counting down. I, I literally said, Richter, you got 20 seconds to unmute yourself and roll before somebody rolls for you. And there was silence. Uh, I, I literally just got up to grab a fan because I'm sweating my ass off. That's, yeah. Well, timing is what it is. Uh, but, yeah. Richter, uh, a bone devil flies towards you and you don't see it in time. Your allies are able to get out of the way. However... Ash, since you rolled for him, you get yeah. to roll the damage. How oh. far did he fly? Let's see, Very 5, far. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 feet. So that's 8d6, please. Uh, I'm going to move these things to the, to the side just so you can see. But just know that this area here is very rough terrain for the two of you up there. All right. I think we're going to end up heading down the mountain anyways. To save um, so you need to not put a space between six because right now you just rolled an eight and that was it. You got to roll eight D six. Oh. Okay. No spaces I, I except after roll. Slash R space. There you go. 24. Richter, you take 24 damage and you are prone. Okay. This creature is on top of you. Oh my. Yeah. Um, but he's gonna use his second attack on Ash. So crowded over here, jeez. Okay. Uh misses. Cool. Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. You know what? Actually, sorry. Before your turn, as you saw this creature um, pick up and throw um, the bone devil, something else might catch your eye. Roll me your perception. I see everything. So you are below this platform. However, you now notice uh, as something catches your eye through some of the broken flesh of uh, this creature here that is actually on top of, it, of this thing here. You see what looks to be a yellow orb about three and a half feet. Almost looks like a gem. Um, but the pedestal it sits on um, you've seen things like this before, and they were usually, give me an, either an arcana or history at advantage, your choice. Why do you hate me? It's your turn. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Every time it's fucking arcana or history, they both suck. That's not bad. Um... Not not great. You're not going to get all the information, but you're going to get some, which might give you a hint at something. Did you say an advantage though? Uh, it I, was no. That. Was it arcane advantage? I said or history. I thought it was arcane advantage. I could be wrong. Maybe maybe it was history. I'll give you one more time. Give me one more history. But I can't remember what I said. Yeah, same same thing. Um. Thanks anyway. <laughs> you know you know that you have seen these something like this before. Um sometimes these and whatever symbols are attached to it, which you you can't really see exactly what the symbol is carved into this area, but you can definitely tell that there's engravings um on this large platform underneath the orb. You're aware that they're magical. But you can't place your finger on kind of magic. But you think that it could possibly be useful. Necromancy. Or, I mean, you can go touch it. 
Or you can try and go save all of your squishies who are south of you. It's up to you. Or who knows, may, may, maybe That's touching them will save them. Are you sure? Dead, dead, dead serious, am... are you sure? I mean, I already said it. Touch the shiny. Phoenix, you disappear. Whoops. You, sir, appear at a top of a stairwell. Now, this stairwell seems to be surrounded on on ceilings. Uh, like, there's a ceiling, there's a walls, and there seems to be no way for you to get back. Ash, uh, you saw I'm... this. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to yell that down to the group, saying that they need to get their asses up here, ignore everybody down there, just get up here. Phoenix, as you are now stuck in... Well, you're not stuck in the room. There's a staircase in front of you. Do you wish to head down the staircase? What do you want to do in this room? Uh, I mean, there's nothing else in the room? There's nothing, just a staircase down. I will hold guard at the top of the staircase and hope my friends know to follow. But I'm going to guard and make sure nothing comes up the stairs. Wabu is prone. What would you like to do with him, Phoenix? Fucking magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh god, I could just hear Mr. Bean doing that fucking magic. Keep in mind, he is concentrating on that dryad spell. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I... Um, I don't like. I I don't know if this is with his staff or what, but he's got on like where the arrows and shit should be is expendables. Um, it says misty step. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I think he's got an item, a magic item, I believe. I don't think it's a set. Oh, maybe it is a set. Hold on a sec. No, that's not his cloak. Uh, it might be Cape of the Montebank. I thought that gave a uh, dimension door. It does. False alarm. Uh, actually, does dimension door just take me and whoever I'm holding, right? It can take, uh, hold on a sec. Let me see dimension door. If it ever wants to pop up, okay. One willing creature. Ah, uh, fuck. Take the most injured with you. I don't know who that is. I'm looking perfect if you look over. Not even a hair out of place. I mean, Spoon's right beside me. So, Wabu's just going to look at Spoonbreaker. He'll stand up. And he'll go, he'll look at Spoonbreaker and go, no questions, just come with me. And he'll grab him by the arm and dimension door up to the platform. Boombreaker, do you go with him? Push to talk? Yeah, I guess I go.
Well, but we use half the movement to get up off the ground now. Yeah, I stood up down there. Okay, and what would you like to do now? Uh, touch the gem. Okay. Wabu disappears. Phoenix, Wabu appears next to you. Phoenix is like, oh, good, you guys figured it out. Sorry I took off there. I didn't know what it was going to do. Where are we? No idea. Just wait for the others. I love my friend back there. She was new. Never met her before. Yeah. I didn't even get her name. Well, we'll see if she makes it. Oh. I guess. Is the new friend down here? And he starts walking down the stairs. <laughs> You could stop oh. him if you want. Yeah, Phoenix will stop him and be like, just wait here for a minute, Wabu. Let's let's wait for the others. We'll just protect and make sure no, no enemies come up the stairs. Oh. Maybe my friend will make it. Okay. Ash. Oh my god, Ash is going to do something spectacular. I know it. Um, okay, Ash is just going to basically tell the people who are remaining, so Richter and Sun, um, that they need to hurry up the stairs and uh, touch the thing at the top to meet the others, and I will hold the door. <laughs> I will wait here for them to pass me before I disappear. Okay, so Honor. That, yeah, exactly. So that they will have uh, the best chance they can to get out. And I'm going to take a step here so that I am... How is your ready? character not snapping to the fucking grid? I don't know. I've noticed that today. Like, he's... I don't know how the fuck you're doing that. And neither do I. I'm just grabbing and dragging. So he's going to barbarian magic all the space he can <laughs> because he's a whole four feet tall. He's going to take up two ten foot spaces. Arr. Anyways, um, and then I am because going... he's thick. Exactly, he's a thick boy. Um, and then I'm going to swing at, um. Uh... This the guy to my. Uh, right hey, side? Wh which square are you on? This one, or this one, or this one, or this one? This one. This is this, a this one. Yeah. Okay. There. See, mm -hmm. when I go to movie, you snap to grid. I don't know how the fuck you are doing that. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Fucking hacksaw, <or> Spied. <laughs> They should reload my thingy. I don't know. No, I, I'm pretty sure you've been doing that like for a while, and I haven't been able to figure it out. Oh, weird. But yeah, you're gonna I'm... swing on him. No, oh, I'm gonna swing on this one. Uh, thirty-four to hit. I don't know uh, even why you ask at this point. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Four raging, fourteen. Uh, sorry, nineteen bludgeoning and seven radiant. And I'm just basically going to um, egg them all on to come and get me. So I'm going to, like, jump up. <laughs> come and get me, boys. <laughs> sure. Kind of divert attention towards me. Uh-huh. And, and I'm going to hit him one more time. Uh, it's 25 to hit, uh, 4 Rage, 17 Bludgeoning, and 9 Radiant. And, yeah, I'm going to bring my Maul down on down on him, uh, like a swing downward. And then, as a bonus action, I'm activating my Auras to give myself uh, uh, 15 temporary hit points. And nobody else is in range, so uh so, no. Um yeah, nobody else is in range. 
because I moved already. And uh, I would like a strength check from uh, the guy to my right that I've been hitting. Yeah, there's no uh, size fucking requirement on that, eh? Nope. And to strength? strength. Ash, do you, what's your keybind for uh, push to talk? Alt? That's how you're doing it. Oh. Anytime the grid is enabled in page settings, snap to grid is enforced on the tabletop. Snapping affects all transformations that can be made on your background images as well as tokens. Hold down the Alt key while moving, rotating, or scaling to ignore snapping. Ah. So it's because you're moving while you're talking. Fair enough. And we go. what is your what is your strength save for or your DC for that? DC eighteen. Yeah, twenty three is going to pass that. That's fine. Yeah, it's not like he's going to move anyways. Double smash time. And thank you, Phoenix. You got it. You do manage to break uh, one of the um, toe bones off, or one of the bones that's acting as a toe, um, as this thing is extremely large. You, you're, you're about like a quarter of the way up his shin with your height. Well, maybe halfway up the shin. These things are massive. But yeah, you uh you get your swings in. Dude, there's fire fireworks going off behind me and I thought like my PC was like snapping at me. I was like, "Oh fuck, oh fuck, what's wrong? What's wrong?" Oh no. Yeah, my dog's yeah. already gone nuts. Dude, why is my actually why is my CPU at fucking 70 degrees? Man, that's craziness. I'm only running fucking Chrome. Spotify, oh, OBS, I guess, takes a lot. Okay, that makes sense. All right, Richter, you are prone. You are underneath of this creature that is also prone on top of you. Bone daddy number two. Yeah, getting bone daddied over here. What do you um, want to do? Richter is going to Misty Step over to the stairs. A 30 feet. Roll me a perception. Let's see if you can see that because you're on the, the very south side. And he, he's a big dude. He's on top of you. Give me a perception. Let's see if you can see that far. Mm hmm. Yeah, you're good. You manage yeah. to get a glimpse just as you get your, your spell ready and you pop up 30 feet away. Yeah, just like mist right over there. And then I still have my movement speed. Uh-huh. Now, do I feel like I'm close enough to this bone daddy that I'm going to get this other type of bone? Which one, what's, do we have information on this one? Uh, so play, player knowledge, it's called a bone colossus. Uh, but if your character wants to know, big bone daddy, give me uh give me an arcana, and I'm gonna say this one's at. Uh, you didn't really study any of the ne necromatic arts for the most part, right? No disadvantage. Should have studied harder in school. Actually, in eighteen, I'll still give it to you. Yeah, yeah th this is a bone, bone colossus. Um, it has a very large reach. Okay. Uh, Richter is going to run. Do it. Yeah, he's running. He's going to run all 25 feet of his movement speed to the top of the stairs. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, get there for me. And then give me a minute. Stop making circles. Okay, so. I'm going to reaction shield. Well, give me a second. First, uh, you were right here to start, right? 
Mm -hmm. Five, ten. Okay, so here you're going to take your first one. What's your AC with shield? 26. Okay. And then you continue on. Uh, you get to about here. Okay, and then you get your last movement there. Mm -hmm. They miss. Okay. Uh, shield's a reaction, so I still have an action. I believe. Is that correct? Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to send uh, one moat over at this guy. Okay. Okay. That's a hit. Yeah, this the one moat that's circling just gets lobbed right at its chest. Okay, and that's 40. And that's Richter's turn. Damn. Man, I feel really bad for Sulamine. I got a plan. It's okay. Okay. We'll see if it works. You know, now the plan survives from contact. Spoonbreaker, it is your turn. What do you wish to do? Is there a way of me casting Cone of Cold without hitting Sulamine, but hitting all those other creatures? Um... Uh, Phoenix has already yelled out not to use cold spells. Oh. Uh, he mentioned he only mentioned uh, the one type, though. He didn't mention the others. Other types of cold? No, no. He He mentioned the Bone Devils about that didn't say anything about the other ones. Oh, I just assumed it applied to everybody, because, you know, I'm a dumb. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> um. So, can I do it? If you do it exactly how I just uh, mentioned it, or like pointed to, hold on a sec. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, sure. Give me your damage. Thirty-five. Okay, and it is Khan. Uh, okay, so both the Colossuses pass. Uh, the other ones, you will hit them. Uh, no, I didn't say they're not going to do any damage, but it will do less. So, let's see. Three of them. Does it do half damage on a pass? Or yeah, I can't read the description. I believe it does half on a pass. Yeah, half as much on a success, but with resistance it'll do a quarter. Uh what do we got? We got a fail, a fail, and a crit uh success. So that one is a fail. Total was thirty-five. Did you add uh I believe you should have added your other one to that, should you not? Me? Yeah. Your Spire Conflux. Your damage, Spire oh, Conflux. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, so we got two successes first. Half of that. Oh, 
weapon is a fail, so he takes seventeen. Four is. And that one is also a fail. Okay, that is your action, sir. Would everybody be okay? Go. Here, no. I can go, go, go. Through the portal. I'm good. Boombreaker appears next to you for uh, Phoenix and Wabu. Seemingly out of nowhere. The hall ahead of you, Spoonbreaker, is dark, and there's nothing but a stairway. Ah! It's dark and full of terrors. Oh my god. So much Game of Thrones reference right now. Oh yeah, I guess fucking House of Dragons came out recently, right? Yep. I'm actually, um, introduced my grandmother to the original series because she wanted to watch it. She wanted to watch House of Dragon. Like, you gotta watch Game of Thrones first. Negative. It's a prequel. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's kind of like, you know, you gotta watch the fucking original Star Wars before the prequels, you know? Negative. It, it, no, it makes a, it's a whole bunch of spoilers. For, for a first-timer, yeah, you gotta watch them in the order they were created. After it's, that, you watch them in fucking chronological. It's actually... I, I, cause I was, okay, so, quick, before we... You know, I don't want to drag too, on, too long, but I showed them to my wife, and I started at episode one. And you lose the, you know, you know, the whole I am your father thing from the original trilogy. But at the same time, she fell in love with Anakin, which I thought was better. <laughs> to be honest, because she fucking loved Anakin going through the OG or through the prequel. And she had no fucking idea. So it adds a whole nother spoiler, because if you watch the fucking original trilogy first, you watch the prequels, you know damn well what's going to happen. I mean, so that's she watched, fair. She watched the prequel first, and when Anakin became Vader, she was like, <gasps> and it was hilarious Boy. to me. Fair enough, fair enough. But as a uh, Spoonbreaker, you appear, Wabu's like, friend, and immediately hugs you. I don't think Wabu would hug me, but I'll hug him back. Wabu hugs everybody. Um, the furry ones. Just kind of like nussles his fucking bald head into your fucking rabbit titties. <laughs> oh, this fucking uh, bone colossus. Wow. Uh, it crushes the Dryad. As as Wabu goes in for the hug, he suddenly stops dead and pulls back. My friend is gone. Uh, yeah, the first one was a miss on the Dryad. Second one was a hit. Absolutely destroyed her. Bone Devil. It was just a distraction anyway. It did its job. Probably not as far as Wabu's concerned, but as far as I am. <laughs> All of his attacks miss you. What a shocker. Let's see about this, Bone Devil. Ha! Ha! Yes! Yes! Stulamine! You're immune to poison, aren't you? No, I'm not. Do you have resistance? I don't think so. Yeah! You take 8 piercing and 17 points in damage, and I need a con save, please. Fucking fuck. Fucking fuck. <laughs> That's funny. 
You were so excited. <laughs> Yeah? Is it funny, Ash? A little bit, yeah. I guess so, because both those attacks mess. Bro, I, like, boosted these sons of bitches so high. Like, they have a 12 to hit, and they're still missing all of you. Like, this is upsetting. I mean, that's a cap out of 32, so that's just bad rolls on your part. Exactly! It's upsetting. Uh, this thing flies over, you Sulamine. How does he fit in there? Well, because he's lanky. He's tall. Tokens do not represent the proper fucking width and height yeah, for the most part. The bone colossus is our circles. Yeah. Okay. Like they would be standing up straight, right? So like they're wide, but yeah. Uh the circle size is representation of like their size size, not so much like the total space they yeah gotcha, take out gotcha. okay because like like the bone colossus for example they're big enough if, if he was in front of you you could probably just like scoot between their legs kind of deal you know it would definitely oh, require a fucking some sort of roll to see if you could like you know kind of oh, yeah. in between or something but yeah totally um the bone devil uh his first claw attack First claw attack hits you for eight slashing. Uh, the other two attacks miss. This bone devil, realizing it is not really needed. 25, 30, 35. Yeah, he's going to go right there. Because he can't get on the other side of Ash and still attack. So... Oops, those are not the right fucking one. Oh! Hey. Wow, really? That's that's what it rolled? Really? Sounds like a shitty crit to me. <sighs> Am I right? Was it a shitty crit? Fuck you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Eight slashing, uh, followed by another eight slashing and a miss of the tail sting. Sulamine, you said you have a plan. Let's see it put into action, my boy. What's the lighting like here? Um, in this room, it's not very bright, but there is still some light from these braziers. They are large, and there's kind of an ambient light from these skulls along the side. Yeah, and sorry, I'm casting a 60 foot bright light around myself. Oh, well, never mind. You are? Okay. Yeah, because of the moats around my head, I still have uh, five moats. Uh, here, I'll cast, I'll show you the spell. I mean, if Richter's casting a 60 foot bright light, then that means all of these creatures should be casting pretty deep shadows, no? Bright light if in. That's what you're looking for, Sue. I mean, true. Uh, oh, okay. I mean, they're also made of bones. Like, light's gonna go thing. through them. Uh, it's a 30 feet from you. 30 feet, and then dim light for an additional 30 feet. So it's 30 feet of bright light, 60 feet of dim light, I guess. Yeah, so you would be in dim light right now, which I think is what you want. It is. Uh, I'll use both plans. So I, as my bonus action, I'm going to use greater invisibility from my mantle. And with my action, I'm going to uh, draw my shield out, holding my bow in the offhand. And I'm going to try and navigate my way through these things. Just let me know I need to roll. Okay, well, you may start moving, sir. And you may pause there for a moment. Uh, these are at disadvantage because you're invisible. Two. 
Disadvantage. Uh, they all miss. You may continue. Stop there yeah, for a you moment. Know. Okay. Uh, 20 is a miss. You may keep going. So, question before I get too far. I know I can't sprint and attack. Can I take an action and sprint? Uh, yeah. Like, like... Didn't you use your action to pull out your shield? Exactly. You, uh, okay, so pulling out a weapon is a free action. Oh, um, okay. okay. So that, that's I'm your free back. action, but that means if you don't have any bonus action or action left, and you manage to get to that orb, you're not going to be able to hit it this turn. So that's it's fine. up to you, uh... So use your, your action to go invisible, correct? That's a bonus action. Bonus action, okay. So did you use your action or your free action to pull out your shield? I'm going to go with free action. So you have an action left. Smart. Got it. And so one, two, three, four. And I don't know if I'm close enough or not, but that's going to end my turn. Except Suleiman's going to yell to Ash and Richter, uh, don't worry about me, run if you can. One is I'm going probably, to... Sorry, go ahead. I'm probably, I'm probably visible again because I'm standing right by Richter with the light. Uh, no, because you used it to cast Greater Invisibility. Oh, that's a good point. It uh, doesn't have to be in dim light the whole time. I guess not, maybe. No, you're invisible until you choose not to be get hit or hit. Cool. Yeah. Okay. This one, seeing no other uh, enemies close enough. Give me a second. You make sure you are within range. You Actually, are. Correct, yeah. The language you wrote says, as long as you remain in shadow or dim light, the spell remains active for up to five rounds. If you step into bright light, the spell fails. Oh, Richter, good sir. Yeah. I need you to give me uh your where your bright light um yeah give me your thirty feet of bright light. Okay, so we had which one's attacked one, two, three, and oh that's three. Give it to me again, please. Oh, okay. Sulamine, good sir. Yeah. The third one that attacked you uh, wouldn't have disadvantage. Oh, which would still make it a 13. Uh, never mind. You're, you're still good. Uh, however... Is that a Gloomstalker ability to make you in, uh, invisible in the shadows? No? Yeah, but I'm in bright light. It, it says until he steps into light. Oh, as part of the Gloomstalker feature? Yeah. Oh, damn, okay. But Rob's like, oh, fuck, I played an entire character the wrong way. <laughs> no, I didn't use that very often because it was it was really hard to find fucking shadows most of the time that it was relevant for me. Fair enough. Uh, keep in mind, I was in Aarakocra, so the majority of the time I was flying and I didn't really take a lot of hits. Uh, except for that pudding that landed on my head. You did use that shadow trick a few times. A good yeah, one. a couple times. Gotta get creative. Uh, Bone Colossus. Uh, what is your AC uh, with your shield out, sir? 31. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, you good. Alright, so that's the end of your turn, then? Yes, sir. Uh, I can't reach the thing, right? Yep, nope, that's fair. Um, oh, Ash, have you been attacking recklessly? I only did it the one time. On your last turn? No, it was no. a couple turns ago. Okay. All right, just check yeah, I remember the last turn she said she didn't need to. AC is 23? 21. 21. Oh, fuck. Like, you probably should have taken a couple more hits. Oh, well, you'll take this one. 
Uh, 13 bludgeoning and 13 thunder, please. And a strength save. 35? Yeah, you are not pushed back 10 feet or knock prone. Cool. And it was 13 and 13, right? Yes, it was. That one flies to there. I'm going to do a perception check. As a, re As a reaction, can I climb a skinny bitch? Are you I'm sure you want to do that? Well, yeah, because it's either me or Richter. I'm going to be in a better, place, better position than Richter. Okay, then he see then he knows where you are. Your AC is 26. How do you have an AC of 26 as a fucking ranger? Jesus. Yeah, the Barbarian doesn't even have that much AC. Barbarian's AC is typically lower because they're damaged sponges. Double check now. If I'm wrong, I'll lower. But part of the bonus for the kid is unlimited dexterity bonus. Uh, That's armor. right. Yeah, I fucked myself with that. Okay, that makes sense. Hold on a sec. I am curious, so I want to. I want to take a look here. Uh oh, someone's in the principal's office. No, no, I, I think I did it. So if there's something wrong, it's because I fucked it up. Okay, so plus three shield alone. That makes a. It gives you an extra five. Uh, the plus three Mage Slayer is AC of 17 plus five. Uh, 14 plus three is 17 plus your dexterity, which is an eight. Wait. 17 plus three is, or sorry, 14 plus three is 17. Plus eight is a. That's only 20. 23. 17 plus eight? Sorry, 25. Yeah, 25. Plus the shield. Plus the shield. So you got your issue should be 30. Oh, do you have a, a fucking ring or something that gives you AC? Yeah, I've got a. So I got a fighting style that shows defense. Where's your fighting style? Fighting style, ranger. Archery, you took archery. Oh, that shouldn't be there. That's just automatically there when you when you have the AC. Okay, so you, you should have been at 30, uh, 24 before now, and now 30. Or sorry, 25, and now 30. Oh, my bad. Sorry, guys. Uh, not your fault. Uh, I, I probably went in and added the global AC modifier, and when you do that, it automatically puts one thing in there for it. Just says no, defense no, no. plus one. Back up. Remember, I took the levels in fighter. That's where I got the fighting style defense. Yeah. Okay. So let's do this then. We'll we'll name that so we know. That way we don't uh, we're not confused again. Okay. There you go. Defense fighting style. Okay. Well, God fucking damn. Mr. Goddamn 31 AC. So it's still a 30. What? Is it checked? Your global defense modifier thing? Oh, uh, never mind. There we go. My bad. There you go. All right. Well, let's see. There's that. This bone colossus. This one is going to smash, try to smash Ash. <laughs> That's Jason Bourne. Yo, for real though, right? God yeah. damn. 
If you want to change the rule on dexterity, I'm totally cool with it. No, no, it's it's fine. Once it's added and it's been used, it cannot be modified. If I fuck myself, I fuck myself. I'd pay to see that. You want oh, you want my you want my only link fans or my only fans yeah, link? Hook it up. Only link fan. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you bunch of fucking perverts! Want to see a fat guy stroke his tiny dick? All right, let's go. I wanted to say that I could look in the mirror. <laughs> uh, Ash. I was also gonna say your words. Ash, I... these definitely yeah. hit you. Uh huh. Uh, thirty-seven bludgeoning and twelve thunder. Strength save, please. Where? And. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a save. Give me another one. Because the next one hits you as well for another 33 bludgeoning and 12 thunder. Ooh. 33 bludgeoning and how much thunder? Uh, so the first one was 36 bludgeoning, 12 thunder. Second yeah. attack was 33 bludgeoning, 12 thunder. Okay, thanks. Okay, do you need anything else? No. Okay. Phoenix and Wabu. Two of you are in there with Spoonbreaker. Is there? Are you just like uh, waiting for them to get here? Still? Yep. Yeah. Phoenix is just holding his guard on the stairs, making sure nothing comes up, and he kind of he just keeps looking back, like hopeful At a brick that his wall. friends are gonna make it through. Well, I mean, he sees it. He he knows where everybody's appearing, you know. Wabu still Three. wants to go down the stairs. He's been trying to convince you this whole time. Yeah, no, nah, Phoenix is gonna keep insisting that he holds position. This seems like a safe spot to wait. We might have to we might have to hold up when everybody gets in here to bandage our wounds. We're gonna need you for that, Wabu. I was about to get put on a leash. Ash, we're up. Yes. So, um, and Richter goes right after me, right? Just throw Richter at the gem. <laughs> well, my okay. So Sulamine is visible, and Richter are also visible, right? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I would like to run up to Richter. I want to grab him uh, by the shirt and I'm going to tackle Sulamine onto the port key. That's my plan. Do you want to run up there? Rapple Richter. Yeah. And basically, if I can't grab Sulamine as well, I'm going to push him into the port key. You don't know where he is. He's invisible. No, he's not. Oh, he's he's right oh, light. We went through yeah. this already. Oh, right, right, right. I mean, okay. Holy shit. Either. Calm down, everybody. You're small right, enough. Right. You could probably rubble, just rubble, shoulder rubble. check Richter into the, into the <laughs> base and just throw him over your shoulder and carry him. Yeah, I'm. I'm good. With that. I'm good with that too. I'm just. I, I, however, it's described is fine, but that's my goal. My goal is to grab the two of them and shove into the port key. Okay. What would you like for that? <laughs> uh, I need to remember which ones use their uh fucking uh attack of opportunity reactions first. Sure. All right, so all it was the Bone Devils. No, it wasn't all of them. Uh, got the Bone Devils down there. I guess the southernmost two. Okay, and then I have one more question. Is that grabbing Richter and slash Sulamine considered an action? Yes, definitely. Definitely, okay. 
Let me just oh, check. Oh. Uh, it looks like only two of them you. Oh, that's why, because one of them uh, wasn't in range yet. Or uh, hasn't, you guys haven't left the once range yet. So, Ash. Yes. You run forward. Yeah. Trying to get, uh, grab a hold of Richter. You yeah. charge in. Yeah. Do I grab him? Richter, are you fighting it? You he you hear these thundering footsteps behind you, and all of a sudden you feel somebody begin to grab you. I'm gonna tell him we're going for it. Yeah, if there's any sort of indication that there's something happening, I'm not gonna fight it and try to uh, help in any which way I can with but my body. Okay. Yeah, I would say if you fucking went from here and slam into fucking Richter. Just throw him over your chest, probably as an action, free action to grab Sulamine with your other hand, and then fucking headbutt the gem. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> oh, can I add a bonus action in here as well? What are you doing? Uh, as a bonus action, I'd like to um, activate my aura and give myself, Sulamine, and Richter 15 temporary hit points. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna need them. Sure. Okay. So, okay. Ash. Yeah. Coming for you, Richter. <laughs> Suleiman, get ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have. Oh, that shouldn't have been an advantage. Should have been normal. Uh, seventeen is a miss. Twenty-five is a hit. You take uh, 32 bludgeoning and 10 thunder, and I need a strength save to stay standing. Four. 31? He hits you, and you stumble, but you recover at the last second. You slam into Sulamine, sending him spiraling backwards, unless, Sulamine, you're stepping out of the way. Not a chance. Damn it. And the three of you all careen into this um, this orb. And as soon as you each touch it, you disappear. You all appear in a stairwell. Well, at the top of a stairwell. The walls around you are closed. Well, this is a pleasant improvement. Wabu starts hopping up and down. Friends! Friends! Friends are okay! Ash is just going to take a seat. I think some of our friends could use your help, Wabu. I Let's think not do that again. again. Man, fuck his friends. Have you seen Wabu? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no. I, Wabu, I Wabu is like trying to hop, and he's like, it, it, it looks like a, a fucking a six year old with fucking polio. <laughs> like, yeah, he's not looking yeah. good. Yeah, when you guys all show up, Phoenix is like, oh, good, you all made it. Uh, sorry for my early exit. Uh, wasn't exactly sure what that thing was going to do, but uh, I'm glad you all made it. Sorry, we couldn't save your friends, Wabu. Wabu just kind of looks sad. It's okay. They're in a better place. I mean, Wabu knows they just went back home to the Feywild, so. 
So, what are you guys doing? Um, probably a short rest would be intelligent here. Oh, man. You guys sit there for a moment? I mean, party vote. Uh, we So we don't know what's at the bottom of the stairs. We're at the top of the stairs, which is a dead end, right? Uh-huh. Um, uh, actually, hang on one second here. Yeah. Why? Why go down the chairs and look? Because these things can follow uh, us. Probably. Yeah. The key, that's the port key. It's not like I, I think, took it with me. That's what I was gonna say. I think with a with a nine, that's wise enough to know that they're probably just as capable of coming through as we are. I'm going to say you wonder about it. However, when you voice it, somebody can roll me an arcana. Somebody who's smart, please. Wow. I think the worst roll I've done in the arcana. Um, I'm disappointed. Yeah, you're, uh, you're really not sure whether they could pass through or not. I'll put it that way. Um, it's not bad enough that you know for a fact they can't. Not good enough to know for sure that they can, but you don't think they could. I'm not sure if these things can pass through. So let's move forward. Maybe yeah. find a place to rest. As Suleiman says that, the first one materializes behind you. Phone, Daddy. You trying to fight it, or are you guys running? Uh, I think running's wise right now because Ash is not looking great. I like the way Ash thinks. Give me yeah. your running order, please. Phoenix will take the rear. He'll usher everybody past him. Uh, okay, I'll take the front. I'll take Ooh. second to last in front of Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, Richter will be in the middle somewhere. He has halfling nimbleness, so he can kind of run in, in between people. Boombreaker and Wabu. Oh, never mind. I guess we got our order. So there's your order, huh? Yeah. All right. I'm going to type this in chat because I need to switch maps for this next part. Which is why turn order, uh, you know what? We'll roll a new turn order when we get to the bottom. You guys want to do that or you want to keep the same one? Uh, three rolls fine, doesn't really matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, right now Phoenix is just trying to block as much as he can for the party because he's in good shape, so. Hey. Uh, this is one I made literally three years ago. No, two years ago, by the way. In 2022, I made this fucking map. <laughs> oh shit, did I update those creatures? I mean, ignore that. Um, all I see is blackness. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. It's all you're supposed to see at the moment. Fair. Okay, so Ash is first. Oops, that's yes. that's the wrong layer. There's Ash. Who's second? Wabu. I did it again. Yes, it was Wabu. And then Spoonbreaker. 
and then Richter, Sulamine, and Phoenix. As you all get to the bottom of the stairs, you notice that there is a door here, a door here. And there is an open door in front of you that leads towards a rather uh, demonic looking skull archway. The eyes are lit up. And as you get to the bottom, you hear. Be wary, all who enter here. Succeed or fail. You may find the result the same. And the lights go out in the eyes. And what looks to be a... Uh, almost a... Not a wall of force because they're invisible, but uh, what looks to be a um, stone wall quickly slides into the ground. I would like you all to roll me your initiatives. Brutal. I'm going to do this. Because they're coming down in a certain order. They're going to act in a certain row. So how many we got here? One, two, three, four. And we need one more. Quite rolling up. Wow, again, 
Wow, how is everybody so high? Oh, except for Ash. Ash did yeah. trash. Ash did trash. New catchphrase. Let's go. All right, Sulamine, you're up first. You hear the the bones scraping across the the stones coming up behind you all. Um, it has. I'm gonna say it's right here. It's at the base of the stairs. How tall is the ceiling? Uh, you know what? I know I wrote that in the handout. I need or not the handout. The um, PDFs. Give me a sec. I actually forgot. I gotta open that up. Yeah, I made this fucking dungeon. <laughs> Holy shit. It <laughs> June of 2022. It's been two years since I made this fucking dungeon. <laughs> well, had we not all fucked off at the beginning and then, you know, all died, I'm sure we would have been here sooner. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so ceilings. The uh, little traps. Uh, and both armed. Uh, why am I saying this to you, good people? Uh, 15 feet high. Hmm, okay. I will put my bow away, or my uh, shield away as a bonus action. Uh, and then I will hold my action. Uh, until the creature uh, is adjacent to Phoenix, at which point I will shoot him. And that's my move. Okay. Sorry, uh, you said you're going to. Oh, you're holding an action. I tell you what, let's let's go. Since is this a new combat or a continuation of the last one? It's a new one, buddy. It is. All right, then I'm going to take a different attack, uh, and light him up with three arrows, or try anyway. Sure. Uh, you do not have sneak attack, however. Um, nobody is within five feet of it. Yeah, but I took it off, didn't I? Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see you roll. I was just giving you a heads up before you rolled, but apparently you already rolled. Okay. Third one, I'll put Dread Ambusher on just in case it hits. And regular arrows, so no bonus from that. Sorry, these two here, you guys can't see. They're in the stairwell. I just didn't want to put them there so I know how far they have to move to get to the bottom and shit. So just ignore these two here. Those who can see them. Uh, let's see. 18 and... is you, uh, you want to describe how you finished that one off with your first shot? Oh, shit. Well, what a waste. Uh, you, yeah. you don't have you don't have to uh, blow the other two arrows unless you want to do you know an extremely fucking cool continue to fire like a maniac. No, no, 
I don't have enough arrows to afford that luxury. So uh, Sulamine sees the uh, bone devil coming down the stairs, and slides an arrow between Phoenix and the wall, hitting the bone devil in the eye. Uh, bone devil tumbles forward down the stairs, uh, coming to a stop right at Phoenix's feet, and Phoenix is once again on the kill. Sorry, Phoenix. They don't ask how, they ask how many. There you go. And that's the end of my turn because I can't hold another action. I think I had to blow everything the first round. or I think it's like an all or nothing thing. So yeah, when you attack, it's an all or nothing. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Boombreaker, you're up. Boombreaker. Check the... Group heals would be handy if you have them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, he's only got like one level of sorcerer. Or, I mean, sorry, one level of cleric, I think. Any heals would be handy if you have any. Uh, Wabu's uh, wobbling. Isn't Wabu a fucking healer? Oh, yeah, like, his shit's coming, but in the meantime, if you can fucking heal, you know, there ain't, you guys can't see any more enemies, so we know they're coming. I'll heal, uh, I'll heal Wabu. What you healing him with, bud? Wabu was in a really shitty spot in the last fight. (laughs) Yeah, it was a shame about that, huh? Stand at the back isn't always the best option. I mean, he was kind of in the middle. Damn, that is a sad ass upcast. I'm sorry for that. Wabu gets 12 HP back. Got any movement, bonus action, anything? No, not really. Okay. Wabu? Mask your wounds. What level? Actually, that's yeah. uh, that's pretty decent. Everybody gets 20 HP back that is within 30 feet of him. So everyone. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Bonus action, movement. Uh... Bonus action. Uh, did you only add twelve to him? So far, yeah. Oh, okay. That is that the unicorn? No, uh, it's under his features. It's not a spell. It's a class feature. Oh, okay, so I just say I'm going to do it. Uh, He does have a token for it under... Which I don't think I gave you access to. I think I inherited access to all of his shit. Not his... uh, No, you definitely didn't access... Get it all. Uh, Where is it? Spiritual weapon. Totem. Edit. Give access to Phoenix. And Phoenix... It is under friendly creatures and pets. You can drag it out onto the field. A 
It is tiny, although it takes up a full square. I can't make something tiny, unfortunately. And, yeah, no worries. And how big is the aura for it? Yeah, it's under his features. It's a spirit totem, unicorn totem. Thirty foot radius. You're going to make this one white. So, how that works is when he uses a uh, uh, a heal. Yes. Uh, advantage on ability checks made to detect creatures in the spirit's aura. Uh, also, when you cast a spell using a spell slot, restores hit points. Any creature inside or outside the aura. Uh, sorry any creature inside the aura so equal to your druid level so i'm going to suggest you probably casted that before you casted the mask your wounds so you guys are what level 17 right yeah so everyone gets 37 instead of 20 yeah so those of you who had already added the 20 add another 17 to your hp All right, uh, I take it that's it, or does he want to use some movement? Uh, nope, that's it. All right, well, don't forget to add his HP, and we'll move on to Richter. Yeah, it's on my calculator. Richter is going to hurl two motes at the one bone devil here. Uh, you cannot see the bone devils. They have not come down the stairs yet. Okay, is there any... Are those ones are are coming up or coming down? Yeah, still? they're coming down. Well, both those. Um, you can definitely hear the bones scraping across the the steps as they they charge down the stairs. You can hold an action to attack. Yeah. Uh, you can't hold. Like, yeah, I guess that's really the only thing I can do at this point. I'm not going to break formation too much. Uh, just move to the side, get a bit of a defensive posture. That is a wall and a door, sir. I'm just going to essentially get ready for one to come as soon as it uh, is able to be seen. A moat will be released. Unless you have any kind of heals. They're terrible. Fair. Yeah, I do. Um, that'll be a bonus action. Well, I guess I can't hold a bonus action, but hold on a moment. Let me just think. I can use... I just know, I know no, Ash I said that she wasn't looking good, or I guess he, sorry, wasn't looking good either, and Wabu was looking kind of rough, so I mean, we're all standing here bloody, any group heals, well, we had, well, we got a minute. <clears throat> yeah, nothing good. Um, so, just going to hold an action for a moat to send, just in case I get eyesight on them this round. That'll be Richter. Okay, and I fucked up. I rolled too many initiatives. That's fine. That one is gone. What the fuck is happening right now? Okay, that's awesome. It completely fucked up my initiative order, I think. Okay, there we go. Now it's fixed. All right. <clears throat> Is 
This one comes charging down the stairs. You see it come around the corner at you, uh, Phoenix. Richter, you see it as well. You can get your shot off. Okay. One moment. Wow! Nice. What was that? And you said you were throwing two moats, right? I can only throw one and then throw one with the bonus action. Oh, so. okay. Still, yeah. God fucking damn, boy! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you want to describe... Uh, that's also 69 damage. Yeah, yeah. Giggity it, fucking children. The moat, the moat um, kind of burns a hole right through its chest cavity. And the thing just drops dead weight. Well, uh, would you like to... Okay, so, I mean, it's still alive, but, yeah, no, you, you, you punched a hole in its chest. Gotcha. It screeches as it continues on. And... Phoenix, you can get an attack for opportunity, should you wish, as... Oh, sorry, it's not actually leaving. It is leaping over you, though. It's still in your space. That one's gonna come there. You hear another one coming down as well, Phoenix. It's gonna get to there. Uh, first one is gonna make uh, attacks on... What's his range? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, he's going to make one attack at you, Sulamine. Okay. And then he's going to make two at Richter, because he has some reach. That's definitely a miss. Uh, do you still have your shield out? No, sir, I do not. Me neither. And your AC without your shield is... 26. God damn you. Uh, miss. Uh, Richter, you are... What? Yeah. 22? 22. Yeah. Okay. Seven slashing damage as uh, the second claw reaches over um, Zulamine and he rakes his claws against your head. Uh, he then goes in for a sting and misses. Phoenix, this one is going to attack you. Send it. What's your AC? 23. Uh, okay, so he misses with the claws, but... As you're dodging the claws, uh, a stinger shoots into your thigh. Uh, you're immune to poison, so 12 piercing. Cool. This one leapfrogs over this one, onto this one. They do have a fly speed, by the way. So oh, let's see, that was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Spoonbreaker and Richter, I need a deck save, please. How high are the ceilings in here? 15 feet. These things walk on all fours, though. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, Spoonbreaker, you do not dodge. However, Richter, you do. You may move one square, either here or here. Or you can fill the space with this totem, up to you. Oh shit, you were there? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow that. Uh, as he lands here, you are driven beneath him, uh, Spoonbreaker. You are now prone. He has advantage on these attacks. Oops, I didn't roll. Okay, so that 
becomes so the second one ends up being crit. What's your AC, sir? Twenty-three. So yep. he's you. You manage to as he's got you pinned underneath him, slashing at you. You manage to move your head out of the way of the first one as the second one rakes across the side of your face, uh, dealing. See, that's a crit. So another D eight on top of the ten. Uh, fifteen slashing damage across your face, and as he. He's got you pinned uh, with your freshly bleeding wound. He looks down. I'm going to enjoy this, little bunny. You suddenly see the stinger come flying down and pierces the center of your chest. Seven piercing, 23 poison damage, so 30 total. And I need a con save, please. That is a success. You are not poisoned for one minute. Phoenix, you're up. Phoenix is going to attack this guy first. Sorry, the one on here on your left? C. Okay, send it. He's my lowest. Yeah, sure is, bud. Wow, that means you rolled absolute shit. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> them modifiers, though, bro. Them modifiers. <clears throat> um, so I've been running them like they didn't have immunity to fire damage, so I'm gonna have to keep doing that. But they were supposed to have immunity to fire damage. Oops. Yep. I'm pretty upset. I do about radiant that. damage. Huh? Moats are radiant damage, at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but a good chunk of Phoenixes is fire. Did uh, he survive those? 22 and 3 is 25. 28. 38. 42. Uh, no, including fire damage, he did not. Would you like to describe it? Uh, Phoenix will just fucking, he doesn't even turn around. He just like leans back or leans forward, sorry, and does a double back kick. The spine just shatters as it does. And Go ahead. Then he'll wheel his foot around and roundhouse kick this guy twice. Okay. See, that's, uh, 40 and 46 uh, 59 and 9 there is sixty-eight. God damn. Wow. What? Sixty-eight damage. For two attacks? Yeah. Sixteen and fourteen makes it uh thirty. Thirty six for the sixteen and twelve. What? Sixteen and twelve is the first attack. Yeah, yeah. I know. And fire, don't forget the fire. Yeah. yeah. Sixteen and twelve. Sixteen, nine and three. Oh yeah, but I, I was doing I, I I make it easy, so I want sixteen and fourteen makes thirty, and then the other than the threes make it thirty six. Uh, thirty six. Oh wow, how did I get fucked with that much? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm not adding anymore. Give me your total. Twenty nine. Uh, thirty two. Thirty-five, 
58. Okay, I was only off by 10. <laughs> it's only I mean... off by 10. <laughs> I hadn't even done the math. You just I I got confused because you were saying so many numbers I couldn't fucking add at the same time, and then you got to your total, and I'm looking at the numbers, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I must have added sixteen and fourteen to make forty. Like that's the only thing I can think of. I don't know, but anyway, fifty-eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean he's still up. You can describe your attack, so if you'd like. I did. Phoenix, uh, right? You did, yeah. Yeah, I might be double back kick, man. and then he'll wing his fucking foot around and fucking double roundhouse kick the other dude in the face. Yep, fair enough. Uh, Ash, four kicks, same leg, like a pro. I'm grabbing a beer while you uh, make your attacks. I got my headphones on. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Is, is this thing even close enough for me to hit? I'm like four foot and. Even if I move here, like, is he in between rooms? I don't understand. He's, well, like, the door isn't shut. It, so it, does it look like he's within five feet of you? Does it look like your square touches his square? Yes. Well then, do you think you're right. close enough? I said something snarky, so I'm glad I actually didn't have my finger down on the on the alt. Yeah, yeah. You want Ash to live, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's mad, so she's obviously raging, and I am going to hit this thing with my maul. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, you are not. No. Um, you swing. That's, uh, yeah, there's, how, how do you swing? Not well. <laughs> no, I mean, get, like, describe it. You go on, like, overhead, you, you fucking go on right to left, left to right. Um, I'm going to try to give it an uppercut, but obviously I'm going to miss it, because, yeah. Let's see, so that's, health. uh. That's four, right? Uh, so that's plus seven is eleven. That's twenty-eight, huh? Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, okay. Spoonbreaker. Yeah. Twenty-eight damage. Sorry, buddy. I normally don't do crit fails like that, but like, Spoonbreaker's underneath. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, I'm going to try to swing at it again. Got my vodka. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to apologize to Spoonbreaker in advance, though. Just get out there. Oh, there you go. Crit. Did you crit? I did. I crit in the other direction. <laughs> yep, so that's a 28 to hit. Four rage. 18... Oh, 18 plus 16 bludgeoning. Oh, it's really fancy now. It's 38 bludgeoning and mm, 21 radiant. Is even alive? That's my question. Oh, let me add up some damage here. Uh, yes, indeed, it is. Okay, that's fine. Um, but as a bonus action, I am going to activate my auras. Oh. Uh, Spoonbreaker and Wabu and I think Richter and Sulamin is in range. And me are all going to get 15 temporary hit points. And I need a DC 18 strength check from... My buddy guy. Yeah, buddy guy. That's uh, a fail. Yeah. Good. So he can't move for until my next turn. Correct. 
So Wabu gets 15 HP, yeah? Yeah, uh, temporary. temporary HP. Yeah. Okay. Um. Damn. One gets around the corner, but it can't go anywhere. Oh, yes, it can. That one's dead. Isn't there one in front of Phoenix that's not dead? Yep, he can leapfrog him, just like how that one got there. Very this crazy. one leapfrogs in. Spins on Phoenix. All right. Um, both slashing claws uh, do hit you, Phoenix. However, the the tail misses as it hits the uh, the stone at your feet. Uh, from the two slashing attacks, you take a total of twenty one. Got it. Sulamine, it is your turn, sir. Sulamine is going to swing on the. Uh, Bone Devil to his left, using his bow, two-handed. Hey, okay. uh, yep, sneak works here. So thirty-nine and and the us, it is forty-eight. That's the one in front of you. Nope, the one to my left. Trying to get him off the squishies. You want to describe it as he falls into a pile of bones? Uh, so I mean, spins swinging his bow horizontally, uh, impacting the back of the bone devil's head, which deforms slightly as it falls forward into a heap. Very and nice. I'm going to spin again and hit the one to my right. Or try anyway. Indeed. By the way, where these uh, where these ones have died, it is rough terrain. Just FYI. Uh, that is a hit. However, when you are using your bow to swing melee, uh, you shouldn't have the archery style on. But it's still a hit. Ah, uh, okay, my bad. No worries. Uh, that, That's a fair that, point. That is barely a hit, but it's a hit. Uh, god damn! People, man. You fucking people. 23 and... Why is it rolling 3d6 all of a sudden? That I don't know about. It was only rolling 2 earlier. Oh! I know why. Oh, that's good this no, time. I don't know why. Hold on a second. Uh, did I fuck up when I added that, uh, I think I might have added that in wrong. I gotta find your artifact set. Tree Strider Bow. Okay, so. Oh. Did you use your bonus action? No, just. Attack twice. So when you use it to attack, I believe it turns into sickles. Ah, I think I option. I think I added that wrong. Give me a second. Let me take a look. I, that was one option. The other one was to swing it as a melee weapon, as I recall it. Yeah, I think I added that wrong. I think that's why. Okay. 
Give me a second just to make 100% sure, but I think I added that wrong. All good. It is what it is. Yeah, I definitely added that in wrong. Okay, give me a second here. I need to fix that. Okay, so that should be 2d6 there. Three, three. Okay. Should be two. Alright, so they do turn into sickles, but keep using that melee tree strider one. Uh, okay. So I need to use a bonus action then, right? To yes. Separate? Yes. Okay. Uh, however, you have a shield in the other hand. And now I put that away. Last oh, oh right, you put it away. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So you, you uh, you you say the the magic word, and uh, you now have two sickles in your hand. Uh, you make your two attacks. Swing, swing. Uh, since they are uh one handed. The Ness weapons, I believe. Uh, you can use a bonus action attack as well with it. But I think I had to use a bonus action to... to... That is correct. Uh, so, 20. Uh, and we're going to remove the extra D6 on that. So, 20, 39, uh, 44. 44 plus... Oh, it should also be slashing, not bludgeoning, but. I'll go change that. Also, can you change that uh, melee one to um, leave it how it is, but put like in brackets sickle in the name, please? And you can delete the other ones sure. that say uh, say sickle on them. Got it. Okay. Uh, do you have uh, any movement or are you, you going to stay there? No, sir. I will stay there. I am done. Boombreaker, you're up. Wait, I can't see the other one. Uh, oh right, you are underneath this creature pinned at the moment. Would you like to try to make a strength check to get out? Yeah. All right, uh, contested athletics, please. Cool, I'm gonna fail, but let's end it. If it meets, it beats. Favors the player. Oh, wait. it's Yeah, it's dead anyways. There was no contested. Yeah, it's dead, sir. You, you, he died. You still had to make the athletics to get out because the thing's heavy, but it didn't take your action. All right. You Damn are it. standing inside of a door. Right, I'm going to use my... Rabbit prowess standing inside of a wall <laughs> to skim past these boyos. Uh, you, you can use your rabbit hop if you'd like. 
rabbit hopping over fools. So I believe that takes you up to 30 feet with your rabbit hop. So make sure you mark that off of uh, your usages. Um, however, where are you landing? I was, I was here. I was in here. Yeah, but, uh, see, this square here is a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm starting back here. There's a, there's door here, and there's a door here. Yeah, are there more enemies? I'm confused. This one? And here. There's two more left. I see X's over them. No, they're underneath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. All right. They're standing on the uh, fallen corpses of the brethren. Fuck their brothers. I'm going to send a chromatic orb lightning at level Tress. At this one, I take it? Yes, star. Lightning, eh? 30 damage. Wait. Okay, thirty forty two forty uh, eight. <clears throat> Very nice. Would you like to describe what that looks like? Uh he is not quite dead, but he is not very well. So uh, I'm gonna send this ball of raging electricity hurtling over I think that's Sulamine or hurtling over Sulamine's head and straight into center mass. Alright. Uh his, his body kind of convulses for a moment. Um but he looks at you. The other one failed. I will not Is that it for you? Did that dude hit uh, Sulamin? Uh, no. This guy? No. He didn't hit him? No, nobody's been able to fucking touch Sulamin. No, I got him the last map. Oh yeah, he did. Yes, that is correct. Did you move that HP, by the way? Your token still says... I hunt. did. Oh. Oh, yeah. he had temporary HP. Yep. Ah. Aha! Now we were healed. Ah. Yep, I took out 22 hit points. From this guy? Or from the last guy? Oh, from the last map. Oh, yeah, no. I haven't, I haven't hit the guy to my east. No, I don't, I don't care if you hit him. I want to know if he hit you. Oh, no, 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 I'm great. Okay. Oh, never mind. False alarm. Doesn't matter anyway. Carry on. Is that it for you, Spoonbreaker? Yeah, I'm going to blow him a kiss with a little oo at the end. Oh, I so wish I had my soundboard fucking sound set up right now. I I got I got sounds for it. I just haven't got around to uploading them. Like, I'd hotkey them onto my stream deck. I have a new oo one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also got a clip from Ram Ranch on there. Oh, I mean, it'd be rude if you didn't. Wabu. Phoenix, that's you. Right. Yep. I am definitely Wabu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Wabu is going to. Cast another mask here. I was hoping you'd try to make friends with them. Go run up and give them a big hug. 
No. 18 healing plus 17 due to the total. 35. Uh, everybody gets 35 healing. Unless you, uh, unless you're only missing temporary hit points, you don't get those back. Sulamine, Richter with your full health bars, and Phoenix. Although I think Phoenix just got his full. Yep. Does he have anything else? I was injured for like almost a whole turn. Oh no. Yeah, it was rough. Good thing I got other shit planned in here. I would hope so. Oh yeah, no. So much. As long as I don't have to ship myself again. Uh, that's going to be <laughs> it for Wabu. You know that only happened because you pissed all over my other game's dungeon, right? <laughs> oh, so that was the trigger. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, no, I just felt thought it was funny, but it, oh, it, 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 did, it did seem fitting after I thought about it. Oh, it's perfect. I got no issues. Uh, Richter, you're up. Uh, can Richter post up on top of the bone <clears throat> devil, or is it too weird? Um, I'm going to say yes, you may. Um, but uh, what I probably should have done is have you both roll for fucking um a luck roll to see if you can avoid the spines because their body's mostly spiny, sharp bone. Yeah, I just want to like step up just so I'm like just not beneath it to just shoot these ones. I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna step off of it. I'm just gonna kind of step up, shoot, and then jump back. Okay. What do you got? Uh, I am sending a bonus action moat, and then seeing what that does, and sending a action moat. Okay. One second. So there's number one. You want to describe how the first one drops? Yeah, it just it's like dead weight. The the boat goes right through it, burns a hot little hole, and um, the thing just drops dead, flat, flat down. Okay. And send the second one. That's a miss! Holy shit! Finally, somebody missed! Holy shit! Damn finally! <laughs> wow. Relax, guys. Yeah, he might I, cry. I missed too. Yeah, but that was a nat one. I meant like somebody who didn't roll a nat one missing. Like, that has uh, not happened yet. Nobody has missed unless it was a nat one, I believe, so far. Richter jumps right off, and that's his turn. Okay. Hold on a sec. Let me just turn that one to zero. Actually, I'm just going to delete that one. All right. Phoenix. What's your AC again? 23. Miss. Miss. Uh, yep, he shouldn't have had vantage, so that would make that a 15, not a 27. That's a miss, too. Your turn, Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix is gonna fucking... Hit him. Uh-huh. And uh, attempt a stunning strike. Oh, you son of a bitch. What kind of save is that? Please hold. No. Don't know offhand. Doesn't work. Too late. Too late. Too late. On. Man, I love how you guys didn't get, like... Give these guys the save against anything they're good at. Damn. Damn. 
What's your DC for it? Um, I have no idea, to be honest. I think I have it recorded somewhere. I'm pretty sure you do, because uh, I think we went through it before, but I don't know where you yeah, put probably. it. Yeah, probably. I want to say it's dex plus proficiency plus uh, like eight plus dex plus proficiency, but I'm not sure. Martial arts. Uh, nope, there's no, doesn't tell me a DC there. Ah, key save DC, eight proficiency and wisdom. Eight proficiency and wisdom? Yeah, mod. 8 plus 6 is 14. 19. If it beats, it beats. Cool. In that case, I will hit him again. Yeah. And uh, stun again. Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh shit! It definitely beat. Uh, oh damn! Yeah, right, well, here comes a flurry of blows case, with your stunning uh, yeah. strikes. Flurry of blows, stunning strikes. <clears throat> oh, he crit! <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, let me tell your damage first, anyways. I know it's getting close. Yeah, that last one did him in without using a key point. Other than for your flurry of blows, I mean. Go and describe how this one goes down. Uh yeah. Uh Phoenix will uh slide in with two double sidekicks to the chest. And then uh he'll kind of jump and do a flip. And come down and double punch right on the top of its head, crushing its head in, severing the spine. Nice. And as uh, you no longer hear any more um, bony scraping coming down the stairs, you feel you might finally be safe for a moment. Combat is over. What would y'all like to do now? Um, How about that short rest? Yeah, I mean, Phoenix is gonna usher everyone into the room behind them where most people already are. And you make your way over the corpses of the uh, Bone Devils, uh, avoiding the spiny spikes sticking out from them. How big is this creature again? It's too big for your bag of holding, if that's what you're asking. No, I want to know if I took its jaw, if its jaw could fit into my bag of holding. Uh, yeah, it could. Cool. Fucking psychopath, it could definitely fit in there. And as you guys enter this room for a short rest, 
there anything you guys wish to do besides sit against a wall and take a finally finally take a breather? I see uh, my arrows like recoup. Off of these creatures, unfortunately, no. They are rock solid. When you hit them, okay. there's no meat to, to soften the blow. It's basically like hitting a wall, unfortunately. Totally cool. I'm guessing Wabu's uh, totem doesn't do any healing when we're not doing stuff with he it. He has to burn spell slots for healing for that to have any effect. Got it. Okay, I'll use hit dice. Wow, Phoenix actually had to use three hit dice. Oh, no, don't kid yourself. These are for Wabu. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn, Ash went ham with that shit. Oh, I'm still going. Boombreaker, are you rolling hit dice? Or are you just hanging out? Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mr. fucking almost two-thirds the way to dead. <laughs> uh, so, for everybody who has that long rest, short rest button, um, hit that, and it should automatically refresh the things you get back on a short rest. That includes Wabu. He gets some things back on a short rest. Phoenix. Just, just hit the just hit the hit dice button, Spoonbreaker, and it'll you don't have to roll them all manually. And I believe it should auto tick down how many you use. Yeah, it does. I'm actually not going to do Arcane Recovery yet. Oh, you're not? No, this is our first or second short rest. Ignore that for Phoenix. He just had to make the thing go away. By the way, I will warn you. Shit in this dungeon is actually deadly. I know I've said that before and you guys walk over it. This shit you will not walk over. It is fucking deadly. Mm -hmm. And we've taken one short rest today? Uh, this is your first short rest, Jess. Yeah, I'm not going to do my arcane recovery. Oh, okay. Might need that. Strange. You get 50, I get 15 spell slots back with that. Damn. Uh, equal to or less than, less than half. half your wizard. There's no way so you... Seven. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a big <laughs> difference, my guy. Yeah, it's a little bit of a difference, but still, with that, that's more than what I've used already, so it'd be a waste right now. It's actually half rounded up. And you guys are 17? I'm 15 wizard, though, because I'm a two artificer. Right, right. So uh, we are going to wrap it up really shortly. Um, I know our, our American friends might need to get some sleep, uh, but I figure we could probably go to midnight just because for the rest of us, Canada today. I was hoping we could just go for that extra 12 minutes there. That's cool. Yeah. Works for me. All right. Well, what do you all wish to do? Spend it. I'm going to go examine this door over here. You can send it. I mean, it's it's open. It's what just is... an archway with a, a skeleton, but... Uh, it, oh, it, it's open, okay. It did give you guys warning. Yeah, nobody nobody fucking went through it. What, what about the other two doors behind us? Okay, we can go there. Oh, I don't, I'm just asking. Uh, I don't know. I'll go anywhere. I'm good. Might as well, we're here. Somebody yeah. make an executive decision. Who's checking? So I'll go through this door up here after I search it for traps. I mean, it's open. Oh, then I'll walk through it after I search it for traps. 
Yeah, sorry, I just went to the lighting layer. I didn't realize they were open. Uh, I'm just going to strut into this one. So, Sulamine, you realize the doors are open, but these things here seem to be windows. I'd like to get closer and take a look. Ash, the same as you? Yes. I'll meet you halfway. I'll look at it but from across the room. Cool. What you guys see is what looks to be a stone wall, almost like a box. And it seems to be hanging from massive chains. In fact, from what you can see, this entire place, uh, just from what you guys can see out the window, you cannot see the bottom. And it doesn't look like anything actually attaches to the bottom of this place you are in. It seems suspended, and uh, Sue, I mean, you might have a harder time because of where you are, but Ash, as, as you kind of, like, look up, you can see these huge, massive, uh, possibly iron chains that seem to be holding the dungeon to something. But as you follow the, the chain upwards, continue to look up, Chains fade into the darkness. You cannot see what they are attached to. Um, can I make any assumptions? Being really good at um, knowing about rocks and mountains and dwarf-like things. Um, so you know about stonework. Um, however. Like, you're not going to be able to tell about something you can't see. No, but can I estimate, like, by just counting how many stones I can see to approximately how how many floors this building or whatever we're in or on might have? sure Ash is smart enough to count. I'm sorry, I have been muted this whole time. Did you guys no. hear anything I said? No, I, I was just, I thought you were checking your notes. So I didn't, you guys didn't hear anything about what you can see outside these windows? Uh, just that uh, there's chains and a box. Oh. Um, not a box, a dungeon. A um, dungeon. yeah, the, it, it looks like it's one story. Um, at least from what you can see, like, uh, if you were to angle it right, you can see, like, out this way, Ash. Okay. In between. And it's just darkness. There's nothing. You cannot see the bottom. Uh, as you look up, you cannot see where the chains go. They fade into nothingness. Whatever they're hanging from, you cannot tell. Um, and to use your stone cunning, uh, like, you, you can't really tell much about like where they connect to um as for the stone itself you cannot tell much about it other than it was not orvin built okay can i creep into this next room and look at the next window yes darkness the blackest of the black. Uh, seeing uh, Sulamin and Ash heading off in different directions, uh, Phoenix will call out that maybe it's not best to separate ourselves this much. Just maybe we should do... Party. What's that? Sulamin's back with the party. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were still up it's at the other... It's just Ash wandering around. Good. So I guess Ash is going to go into the next room and look at this next window. And it's 
I'm assuming it's just the darkness, same thing. In that case, Phoenix will hold guard at the stairs. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Fabulous. Okay, so I'll just make a full circle. And be like, okay, nothing's there. It's just circle with windows, and it looks like we might be in a floating dungeon, question mark, hanging from chains. Does this stairwell go down more, or is it just one? That is it direction okay yeah i'm gonna say it looks about to be only one story worth of floors so if you guys are going to proceed i would ask that you either uh like you keep track of keeping your tokens up with the rest of the group because whatever happens when it happens i'm not going to retcon it so somebody has moved so if you're moving keep yourselves together with the rest of the group if you're not moving you can talk where it is. You guys may pass through. Come on, pass, guys. Pass through. We're oh, we're going. Okay. Right. And I'll be searching for traps as I go. Sure. Hey, don't be going through the fucking wall, Richter. I saw that shit. <laughs> Cheating motherfucker. Hey, uh, give me a. Uh, how are you checking for traps? Everybody stop for a moment. How are you checking for the traps? Guy hasn't even moved on my screen. There you, he goes. What do you mean, man? You you fucking moved like across the fucking area. You you probably yeah. need to reload, oh. my boy. Stri yeah, it's like super glitching out here. Yeah, because you you literally went through a fucking wall. Yeah, it it just moved. No, I didn't do shit. All right, Richter, from where you are, move one square. Oh, what the? Whoa. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Reload your reload roll 20, my guy. Yeah. So, I mean, how are you checking for traps? What are you doing? Uh, visually, and at the same time, using the bow, pulling one end of it and tapping the floor with the other end. You're, you're tapping? Tapping. Tapping. Cool, cool. I like Should that I you're pulling? tapping. No, you can you can tap as much as you want. Oh, great, I'm gonna track something. Are you, are you you don't feel anything yet? I'm just asking for reference. Okay, cool. Uh, you can, however, give me a hit perception to start with. Pie, apple. I would love an apple pie right now. Shit, wrong one. That's Sorry. a performance. Uh, Sulamine busts out into song and dance, and he's actually kind of killing it. So, performance or perception, perception. 10 more than that. So, All right, 31. Uh, damn, you got a 15 of perception? Yeah. What the fuck? All right. Yeah, you, uh, you spot something. Uh, it takes you a moment, but in fact, the spot in front of you, uh, there's a small crack in the floor, and it seems like, um, as, as you kind of look, it seems to go all the way left and all the way right. And you notice that it looks like there might be a small crack in the floor over here as well. And I'll hold up my hand to stop the party and point it out. Uh, so it, it runs the entire length of the hallway perpendicular to the travel. Uh huh. Shit. Do I see any? Go ahead. As you you kind of like brace yourself against this this uh, westerly wall here. Hear your head around, and it does seem to end where the stairs start. So I'm going to move you forward just so you can see it, but where you're not triggering shit, okay? Got it. The, it. It ends right where the, it seems like it ends right where the stairs are here. Got it. Oh, sorry. I actually, I have that wrong. 
Um, it starts here. It goes down to the stairs. And then continues to these stairs down here on this side. And all the way here. So it's basically like a, almost a T. Like a. Almost like a T without the fucking top on it. Actually, yeah. It's an uppercase T that's very weirdly drawn. Yeah. Funny proportions. I got you. Yeah. So I'll share that with the party and ask for suggestions. I can try to disarm it. We can try and trigger it with something other than our bodies. What is it? Sorry. So there, there are cracks. The one perpendicular to the direction of our travel. It extends to the stairs on the west, the east, and the south. So I think there's some kind of trap there, but I'm not sure the mechanism or the consequence of triggering it. Try to disarm it. What? Where? Where? Where is the line exactly? Is it the crack in the floor? Uh, basically, the horizontal line that's just below my character. Here, I can draw it. And is like the trap is along the ground, or like what do you see? Like what exactly do you see? I feel it's a pressure plate, a massive pressure plate. Do I mean? So basically like this this whole hallway? Yes. Is a pressure plate. Yes. From stair to stair to the uh end here. And it basically starts right in front of Sulamine. So like down here is a pressure plate too. Yep. Welcome to my puzzle dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. Thought I would thought when I said something was deadly, it was going to be fucking enemies, didn't you? Huh? Nah. Uh, it's puzzles this time. Phoenix is going to run <clears throat> forward until he's beside Sulamine, like here. Huh? And then jump and land on the wall. Uh, what is your strength? Uh, like static? Yeah, not modifier. What is your strength? 16. So, you can make it to here. Sure. I can get on the wall, right? Yeah. Continue your run, I take it? Yeah. All right. Where do you hop off? Uh, there. Phoenix lands on the ground, and he pauses for a moment, listening, kind of looking around, and nothing happens. Yeah, he calls it. He's like, well, there's no trap over here. My roll 20 is completely glitched out. Have you tried Firefox? No. Just try Firefox. I know a lot of people might, like, uh, my brother has issues with fucking roll 20 on Chrome. Yeah, everything that's went white, I'm going to reload again, but I don't know. I mean, it is a pretty large dungeon. But it's uh, I've used much larger maps before, and especially most of this map is not is just blackness for the most part. Yeah, my laptop is also hot as hell right now, so I think it's my Ooh. computer. Yeah, may, maybe your fucking CPU starting to overheat. I I do know that Chrome. The longer you have it open, um, you know what? Fucking just close Chrome and reopen it. 
the longer you have Chrome open, the more fucking RAM it uses. And you're on a fucking ancient piece of technology, so you probably don't have a whole lot of RAM. Yeah. But Phoenix has made it across. What are the rest of you wish to do? Did Phoenix just jump over? Uh, monks, when they get to a certain uh, level, they're able to run along walls. So he jumped, and he just barely made it to this wall, and then he ran along the wall and fucking uh, and hopped off. Anybody have the ability to fly? Yes, I do. If anyone could throw me, I can misty step mid-flight to make it. I can definitely right. throw you, but... If you can throw me at least five feet, I think I can misty step mid-air. Uh, oh, you I can throw me ten feet. You gotta throw me ten feet. Yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah, toss me. Toss <laughs> you. Okay, I'm gonna toss him. Uh, what's, what, what kind of action do you want for that? How much do you weigh, Richter? I know you're pretty light, but what do you weigh? Hello? It's chugging. It's, um... For this, I weigh 50 pounds. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna crunch him into a little ball. <laughs> Bro, you're a halfling, not a three-year-old child. <laughs> Why? He's, he's very slender, it says right in his bio. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, Ash, I want athletics. Rolls a nat one. Not a nat one, but not great. 17. You can get him the 10 feet you want to get him. Yeah, Richter's going to hold a action for Misty Step and kind of gauge right before it hits the ground or, you know, uh, unleashing that spell, turning myself to mist and rematerializing 30 feet away. Okay, so you make it to where the arrow is. And as you make it there, I need you to roll me a deck save, Richter. Because you are just on the edge of the stairs with that. Damn, bro. Fuck, I almost ashed for my vodka. He's Damn coming bro. to me. Can I grab him? You see him flailing his arms, trying to keep his balance. Uh, I'm going to ask you for... I'm going to say to get there and grab him because you were 15 feet away. Before he falls... Yep. I'm going to say that that is going to be a fuck. I'm going to say it's probably a flat dex. No. I'll let you use athletics, um, but you can replace the strength for athletics with your dex. So acrobatics? No. It's not the same thing. Uh, do you have proficiency in both acrobatics and athletics? No. But you have, uh, I'm guessing, proficiency in acrobatics. Yeah. So, roll me a e20 and add your dex modifier. 16. I'll give it to you. You you run over and you just barely catch Richter as he starts to fall backwards. 
you grab onto his rope and you yank him. Uh, you both end up back here. Woo, close one. Thanks, Phoenix. Thought I could get a little bit further with that misty step. Ah, uh, you know I always got your back. Ah, uh, yeah. So what does the ceiling look like? Uh, plain rock, uh, like worked stone. Um, a little cracked in some spots. Uh, fifteen feet high. Okay. Man, I don't know what's going on with my my thing. I just moved my guy, but it moved both things. How are the other four of you getting across? I'm pretty sure I know how two of you are getting across. Maybe three. Sheer dumb luck? That sounds like something bad to rely on. I'm going to try and disarm the trap. Oh, are you now? Well, it's either that or if I don't have the strength to jump that far, I'm going to go flat. Give me your um, Thieves Tools check. Um, I believe in this one, it's going to require um, Intellect as the query. Let me try that. Well, it's got it as Dex. So if you modify it, just put it as um, put it to query attribute. So whenever you click it, so you know, you, oh, okay. yeah. What, so whenever if you put it on query, whenever you click it, it's going to ask what stat to use. I'm with you now. Got it. Thirty. Well, that's with a stupid bonus. I'm not going to have friends. Well, I don't think. Nineteen mod. Check that for me, if you will. Because that can't be right. It might be, because I think you took... What the fuck? So, I'm pretty sure that you, sir, took... Um... At a level, you got to choose expertise in, in a few things, right? Yeah. And right now, it definitely looks like you have. Expertise in stealth for one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like you probably took expertise in thieves tools. Which it says a mod of five. Do you have something that gives you? Oh, uh, do you still have those? Oh, um... a fever? Yeah. Yeah, you still have those. Yeah. Still wearing them because they don't require a trinket. And I believe that gave you a plus five, right? Yes, sir. I ain't no fucking sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Bitch, this motherfucker fucking got him. Wow. Uh, that triggered me even more than calling me sir. <laughs> right. Yep. You fail the roll, your character dies. Fuck you asked for it. All right, I I think right. that I think that is correct, honestly. No, I just hate I hate that. Yeah, word, I would work with ma'am too. No, I, I I don't know, man. I've always found that the word sir, I don't know, I just feel like that means somebody's better than you. And I don't like that. Uh, I mean, it depends on your perspective. Yeah, I mean, no. Coming from, like, my martial arts background, and I would assume it's... Uh, yeah, but that's sensei. Military. Hang on. I would assume it's the same with military. It's not that you're better. 
it's a sign of respect. And that's fair, but you know, I still hate like, it. Like I don't like yes, we like in martial arts we call a higher level sir. But again, it's not a oh you're better than me. It's a sign of respect. It's a, you know, and yeah, you are the DM, point. so re, you know, oh. respectfully. Yeah, currently you are sir. Nah, call me homie. I don't like sir. <laughs> it's a southern thing. It's a southern thing. What about bitch? Sir man. Well, bitch might get your character killed. Bitch might get your character killed. But anyways, uh, a 30. Um, I want you to give me an intelligence check, please. Straight intelligence or say? Straight intelligence. All right, I need one moment. layer and You feel that you have disarmed this trap. Awesome. I'm going to go for it. One square at a time, please. Sure. Uh, okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. Uh, Two. Nope. Go back. One. So, from where you were, Sulamine. You did disarm it, you did succeed, but you only disarmed certain tiles. All right. Yeah. And of course, the first one I stepped on is one that's not disarmed. Nice. All right. So. Inside the yellow boxes are safe. Yes, you shouldn't be able to see those. Why can you see those? I put them on GM layer. Oh no, I didn't. Hee hee. Well, it doesn't matter. It's been triggered now, so I can delete them. Ash is like, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> oh no. As Ash takes her first step. Uh, you all hear a click. And you hear the, the sound of stone on stumble. Uh, stone on stone grinding. As all of a sudden. You hear a plop. As something lands. Now, lucky for you guys, nobody was right under them. But Spoonbreaker, there is one behind you. Ash, you see one land in front of you and one land to the right and left of you. These things take up the entire hallway. Uh, these are some, some pretty old school monsters. Everybody would have heard of them. It is obvious that they are gelatinous cubes. However, you've ne never seen ones this large. And they begin moving towards you. And this, lady, ladies and gentlemen is where we will pick up next session. The finger. Cool. I have no idea what you just said, my boy. He said gelatinous cubes. I said gelatinous. Oh, is that what Richter said? Whoever was talking quietly, yes. Okay, yeah. I think it was probably Spoonbreak. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to... Uh... I didn't say shit. <laughs> these are edible right oh Ash, sweet fuck. absolutely yeah you know what why not Ash? sure you believe they're edible if you want to you seem delicious in dungeon they are i 
I can't believe you just did that. Um, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to outro the stream real quick. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. I want to thank you for being here. Uh, I mean, the only person that had talking chat, of course, was our, you know, uh, resident fucking bot. But hey, um, hopefully, I'll do this. Hopefully, uh, I will see you here tomorrow for some Halo with uh, some of the boys. Uh, we're going to rip some shit up just for fun. And uh, after that, I will be back on Friday night. I might do some surprise streams. I don't know. We will see how the week goes. Uh, I do got to do some editing. So I can finally start uploading again. I've got a few videos ready, but I want to get a lot ready. So hopefully we will see you.